Hi. Hello. Welcome back. We have a new event. In Stream Raiders, at least. How is everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, let me jump on into our basic battle with the very easy challenge level. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow, yeah, no, that's, um... Oh my god, I don't think I've seen a battle that looks like this for a, a very long time. Uh, okay, I want to finish... I want to finish off that mage placement quest. Because... That's been sitting there for a while. Cool. All right. Uh, that's done. Uh, place your units. Follow the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account. And uh, drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Um, so, you may notice that I'm not playing Mario Party. <laughs> um, so I've been talking to Married with Pets. We've been in contact. And uh, unfortunately, although Jared is feeling a whole lot better, he's pretty much golden, like he's pretty much there, um, Mads is is just not well enough to, to sit at the PC and stream for an extended period of time. Uh, and uh, she apologized and I said, don't be silly. <laughs> don't be silly. Uh, rest up. You know, you need to recover. It's always like the thing, you know, take care of yourselves. And be nice to each other and so uh, I've encouraged Maddie to take care of herself and uh, I'm being nice and <laughs> like being like yes take care of yourself holy shit um, but yeah so that's uh that is why we're not doing that today but that's okay that's all right we this is this is uh, the new normal this is what we do these days is we are we are hella flexible if shit has to change then shit has to change and that is totally fine uh, we're learning to go with the flow and be flexible uh, and so we are, and because we didn't finish the kids we were this time last week, uh, that's what we're doing today. We're um, we're getting it done because I know we all wanted to know what the hell happens at the end. Like we've got all this build up. Like what is going to happen? We've only fixed a couple of the of the mysteries. Well, we've fixed. Um, we've only solved a couple of the mysteries. So we need to see what the hell happens with the rest of them. Um, so fingers crossed, you will enjoy the journey with me to to finish the story but yeah this is this is what we've got today and if we do finish a little early then uh who knows we'll figure something out we always do don't we we always do uh so uh before i started before i went live um i i refreshed lumia stream just to be sure that it was working correctly and nutty said uh that they are also here so welcome on in nutty uh well done to bc on first channel on third Wait, there's a number missing in there. Sheba got second. There we go. Doofus has grabbed Thurf. Doing D&D remotely today. Trying to keep an eye on chat while I'm playing. Fantastic. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy. Good morning, duh. Good morning. See, Mads and Jared are still crook. Ah, uh, Mads is. Yeah. Mads is. Um, I'm pretty sure Jared's pretty doing, like, pretty okay. Uh, but the whole thing was the four of us uh, doing some ridiculous things. So, um, yeah, that's all right. We'll, we'll save the shenanigans for another day. Uh, welcome on in, Lander. Rain night for me. You got a new set of boots this week. Congratulations. Well done. You just woke up. Fantastic. Hope she gets better. I'm sure she will. I'm I'm certain that she will. I'm hoping that it's sooner rather than later. But um, it's only going to be sooner if she takes care of herself. So we'll give her the space to do so. Good morning, iFrog. I hope you're going well. Right. Okay. Make sure you're placing those units. And let's got my boost yesterday. Ah, oh, still out of it. Yeah, I can imagine. Apathy, I can imagine. Um, I'm... Uh, look. I'm going to speak to my medical professional. Uh, yeah, about getting the booster. I'm double vaxxed. I've had both doses of, like, the base vaccination. Um, but my circumstances have changed, medically speaking, since I received those. Uh, and so I want to be certain that I'm doing the right thing by getting the booster. I know I'm doing the, I know that getting the booster is the right thing for the community, but I need to make sure it's the right thing for my body, um, because you know no point in protecting myself from COVID if it kills me, <laughs> you know. So uh, yeah, need to need to just double check that one. Um, but hopefully I'm I'm I've got my fingers crossed that I'll have the the go ahead. Um, 
and I can go book that in, but we'll see. We'll see. Sorry for today, everyone. Don't be silly. Do not be silly. It's fine. It's fine. Looking forward to playing some Mario Party, but for not, we're definitely going to try and play it somewhere. Oh, we, we're absolutely going to play it at some point. 100%. Um, as I as I said to Mads, um, like, we, we'll do this on, on her terms. Like, she's the one that is feeling unwell, uh, and I want to make sure that she is 100% okay. Like, I want her to have a blast playing and be able to throw shit at you when you steal one of her stars and all do you know what I mean like like we, we all four of us want to be like yes and and all of that yeah so once she's back on deck once she's able to to participate to the fullest um you guys will I'm sure send me some kind of ping on one of the multitudes of platforms we use and we'll book something in no stress whatsoever and no need to apologize we can't help this shit we can't help it it's fucking everywhere <laughs> like uh, I looked on the the website yesterday uh, because I was like I wonder if because I'd gone and done a couple of errands here and there and I'm like oh, I should probably keep up to date I should check the the exposure bit uh, the exposure list no Queensland is no longer maintaining an exposure list the only things that they're maintaining is a list of super spreader events so if if they all of a sudden see a massive jump and they can link it to a particular event then they're gonna post that event but beyond that, they said any any time you leave your home, you need to consider it as a potential exposure event. Good. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is it's fucked. It's fucked. Um, and the the funny thing is, this is the first time that Queensland has really felt it. Um, like it's it's the first like all of the prior waves, we never really got anything because our government, like our state government, locked down the borders as soon as anything was a whisper. Uh, they instituted lockdowns, like long weekend lockdowns. Anytime there was there was a minor outbreak anywhere, they just like, no, lock it down um, every single time. So we never, like, I think the most cases we had in a day was like low double digits once or twice. Like it just wasn't a thing. I, there was never anything like, and now, now there are 20, yes, was it yesterday when I checked? I think it was 25,000 cases in the Brisbane City Council location area, which is where I am. Like Brisbane City, like the cluster of suburbs around Brisbane City, 25,000 cases. So I got my hair cut today. <laughs> I left the house, got my hair. It's been two years since I've had a haircut. So, um, and, and this place is phenomenal. They had like a whole, a whole thing about getting vaccinated. They had, uh, I think it was, I think they were offering discounts to vaccinated, like way, like months and months and months ago when it was like a really, like a big deal and all this kind of stuff. Um, and they, they're like, they've been super incredible about like maintaining, like I've, I've been trolling through all of their social media for months now, um, contemplating like, do I go, do I go, do I go? And when I saw all this kind of stuff, it just made me feel really safe. Um, and they, like the, the hairdresser was telling me today that they've usually got like a staff of nine working in the salon. It's a big salon. Um, they were, they've usually got a staff of nine, but today they had three because of just everything that's going on. They've just, they've scaled everything right the hell back. Um, you know, they've lost a fair bit of money because of it, but it's the right thing to do and it's the safe thing to do. And so like, you know, there was like me and my hairdresser at one end of the salon and then someone else and their hairdresser at the other end of the salon and then a receptionist. That's it. Like that was, that was, yeah. And it, in this big, huge, like, air, yeah. So I felt really safe. I felt really safe. And everyone had um, their, their masks on the whole time. Um, my, my mask now has some, some pink uh, at the back of the ears from when they washed my hair and, and got the, the elastics a little bit. Cause of course you can get the elastics wet. I'm not fussed about it, but it's like, it's kind of cute. Cause I got the little pink there, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like it's just, it's, um, it's great. It's great. <laughs> uh, definitely booking hopefully a schedule for next month don't talk to me about February don't I've started looking at it I just I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna <laughs> oh February's fucked February's fucked not just is there like it's my it's my birthday and it's my six year stream anniversary and there's two weeks of Heartbreaker Farms, which potentially we're looking at a stream every day for 15 days. Um, and potential for other things that I'm not able to talk about. Because 
stuff in the th and I'm like, more? <laughs> How? <laughs> How? How? So look, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll, we'll definitely, we will absolutely do it at some point because I'm so excited to play with you guys. I love Mario Party. Jas and I have been playing it like every few days. It's just been great. I love it. Fears love it. Never leaving the house again. Yeah, it's a bit that way. It's a bit that way. Uh, Queensland Chicken app doesn't inform you. New South Wales app tells you when a case is in the same place. I've never had it tell me because I've never been at a place on the exposure list before. I presume that they're not maintaining an online list with like, this is the date, this is the location, this is the suburb, this is the time frame. That was the list I'm talking about. I'm, sh I'm assuming that they still ping you if you've been to a place that they now know a case was at. But if there are 25,000 cases, that, that's 25,000 people multiplied by 14 days worth of exposure, like potential infectious period that they may have been out in the community, multiplied by God fucking knows how many places that they've been because we don't have lockdowns because how the fuck can you control something like, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I'm assuming they ping you, but I've never been pinged because I've never been to an exposure venue. But I am absolutely checking in every single goddamn place that I go because I'm not a dipshit. <laughs> so <laughs> fingers crossed if something does happen, I will get a ping and I will let you know. But yeah, I've got no idea because I've never had, I've never been in that situation before. Oh, I wonder if I got a Zims. Thank you, Lena. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm so happy. Um, hey, Jack. It's okay, we'll get to it. Also, been practicing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you bet your ass. Uh, I've decided Mario Party like games are evil. They are. You're absolutely correct. Why do you think I love them so much? Because I am evil. <laughs> uh, at least February's fucked fix with your little- Oh my god, it does! <gasps> Meaty! Yes! I think I might put it like on the- on the- on the- on the this thing. I might just- instead of like February 2022, I just put like February's fucked. <laughs> just hope for the best. Oh fuck. That's- that's great. I love that. And then March, I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs> I'm just gonna sleep for all of March. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh, actually. Oh, you're here, Mady. I wonder if I, 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 let me just, I put, okay, so I've put them in a little box because they came in like a clear plastic bag that was annoying and crappy and shitty. So I've put them in a little bag, uh, a little box so I can keep them at least a little neater. I want to see how they, like, Aren't they pretty? They're oh, heart shaped. Oh. <laughs> oh, stop it. I know I'm blabbing, but just don't judge me like that. Aren't they gorgeous? And they're, they're, this one's a battery pack one. So I might actually be able to string it on like on chair uh, rather than all the way in the background. But um, yeah, they're, they're super cute and adorable. And I love them very, very much. Um, also, oh, I should probably turn them off before I put them away, shouldn't I? <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm a silly. I'm a silly. Um, I also got another package today. Um, no, I'll put these away. Uh, but I don't know who, I don't know who sent them because it was an anonymous purchase from Throne, but I has new pants. <laughs> I got jeans. So, um, actually I think I put, I think I put my old ones in here. Get out of here. Go that way. And this can come this way. So my my jeans, these are the jeans that I've had. I've had them for like, oh my god, so 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 long. And um you might be able to see those are holes. <laughs> they're they're like like yeah, and they're in a rather awkward place. Um like in the back of the thigh. So they're done now because they're, they're done now. Um, and my, my new ones arrived. So I'm exceptionally pleased and they're so comfy and they fit perfectly. I'm really happy about that. Cause I, I checked like the measurement on, like you know the measurements online, they give you like size guidelines and stuff. So I checked all of that to make sure, but they fit, they fit perfectly. Like, why don't I just run over? Um, but they're like high-waisted, the three buttons on the front because I love that and they're just they're really a nice color and they've like got the spots of fading and stuff yeah I like them a lot I'm very happy 
Uh, the pockets in the front are fake, as we were, you know, we're talking about. I mean, that bit there, it stops, like, where that line of stitching is. It stops right there. Um, and so that's entirely fake. But the back pockets are real. The back pockets are real. So, that's important. <laughs> that's important. They have pockets, but only on the back. Ah. <sighs> Dear me, enjoy your lurk, Apathy. I'm glad they arrived before February was read. They might may not with how things how they are right now. They arrived really quickly. They arrived really, really quickly, hey. Uh, hey Josh. Pretty sure I've lost friends to party panic and move or die. <laughs> yeah, look. Um I'm not sure I have. Thinking about it, I don't think I've ever lost friends. I've not even lost friends to overcooked. I guess they all knew what I was like before we played, so they knew what to expect. Or they're also like that. And so, like, I've got a hair stuck to my lip. No, it just feels like I do. Fantastic. Um, I guess they knew what I was like before we started playing, so they knew what to expect. I don't know. I don't know. Let's play games. Continue. Continue to play from the most recent save data. Yes. So we have, I think, four, four chapters left. Chapter 13, emergency break. Ooh, oh dear, this, this scares me. You think Nozomi's inside? I'll check. This game's a more opportunity to directly fuck someone. Yeah, true, yeah, true. I mean, Jess stole a star from me the other day. Um, we had a, I think, I think we had a, the box of the quality street kind of sitting like on the coffee table, like between the two of us sort of thing. And he stole one of my stars and I just kind of took the chocolates and put them over here. <laughs> That's fine. It's, it's a game. It's a game. Uh, Wataru, you should come with me. Huh? Oh, sure. Hey, Chaos. Doing well, thank you. How are you today? How are you? She's not here. No shit. Nope. Just wants, how has it not happened more? That's too many numbers to be in a phone number. Yeah, if it's important, I'll leave a message. Um, we, we've played... We've played four or five times now, I think. But I don't think... The, like, most of the time we've played, a, like, kind of shorter games slightly shorter games rather than the really long ones and then so we finally played like a really really long one with like 30 something turns and um and that was when he ended up stealing one i think he also hasn't played a lot of it prior whereas i used to play like the original back on n64 a whole lot we had um uh the bloody tug of war mini game come up and I cackle. He's like, what's going on? I'm like, see the warning on the screen that says, do not use the middle of your palm or other sensitive skin to rotate the joystick. He's like, yeah, why? So I demonstrated. <laughs> I demonstrated. And then I explained to him that the joysticks on the N64 controllers had like concentric circles on them. So if you did that, really really hard you would you would tear the shit out of the middle of your hand and he was just like oh that's probably why it says not to do it i'm like yeah also maybe that these these are like a little more fragile and they won't like bashing them around like that's not going to be very good for them and so it said three two one go and what did i do old school style yep yeah. um he yelled at me he's like you're not supposed to do it like that i said fuck off and so he started doing it <laughs> we won and that's what matters uh, <laughs> uh, stealing chocolate, that's grounds for, he, st he stole my star. He stole my star. I ended up winning the game. We there were three bonus stars at the end and I got every single fucking one of them and he didn't get any. So I won. <laughs> I'm okay, a little better than yesterday. Bad story, I'm like, oh no, I'm glad you're feeling better. You confirm N64 controllers were a lot of things, but Fragile was not one of them. Tech back then that was designed for kids, especially things like consoles, were not fragile in any way, shape, or form. Like, you didn't have to take care of them. You toss that shit around like nobody's business. Things built in the 90s were built to last. They were. They absolutely were. And then people realized, oh, wait, if they break easily, 
I'll have to buy more of them and then we'll get more money. Just cool. That's three digits too many for a fucking phone number. It's not a missed call. Piss off. I uh, love the old school Mario Party on N64. Yeah, Mario Party Superstars has a bunch of the um, the mini games and a bunch of the maps re remastered for for Mario Party Superstars. It's really cute. And and as you play through, once you've finished a, a game on a particular map. Excuse me, you can go into the settings and you can have either the new music or the old school music. Like, you can switch between them. It's very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Find obsolescence. Yep, correct. Have you played Pummel Party? I don't think I have. It does ring a bell, though. I think I've seen it played. I just haven't done it myself. Uh, right. Hey, you said you saw her earlier, right? Yeah, she told me to tell everyone she wasn't going to go with us to the bathhouse. Was that all she said? Huh? She didn't, like invite you somewhere? How did you know? Call it a hunch. Remember that Wataru is, is Minato's dad and Nozomi is Minato's mom and they were supposed to go on this date but then Nozomi asked Minato instead and he's like shit no you can't you should go with Wataru. Yep yeah, it's he's fucked everything up. So what'd you say? No we'd get in so much trouble if any grown-ups found out we went to the movies by ourselves after dark. True. But she got all mad and stormed off, said she'd wait at the station and that I'd better meet her there or else. I'm supposed to head over soon. Hey, can you come with? What? No way! I'm not going to be your third wheel. You got it all wrong! I just want to tell her I'm not going so she doesn't think I stood her up or something. This is supposed to be mum and dad's first date. He can't not go. All you have to do is hide and watch and come to my rescue if I need it. It's like Mario Party but with more blood and murder. Noted. Noted. It's on PC. Ah, Bubble Tea arrived today! <gasps> Fantastic, Dory! I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's delicious and delightful. Hey, V. Yes, we are playing this again. This is, We've only just started because you know me. I fucking blab too much. Uh, <laughs> Fine. Guess this is my chance to make sure they go on that date. Somehow. Hey, what's taking so long in there? Nozomi isn't here, then maybe... Huh? What's that by your feet, Wataru? What's what? <gasps> it's a letter. Oh, shit. I'm thankful for it. <laughs> Look, sometimes it works well. I'm going home. Thanks for the last few days. Sorry I lied, Nozomi. Ah, uh, the passion fruit one, it was good. I think I made the tea too strong. Potentially, potentially. Um, Two tips for it. Uh, set a timer, like for the brew time, because otherwise, if it, if it was it a bit bitter, uh, it might have been a bit better. So most tea, um, most tea, if you brew it for too long, it starts releasing the tannins, which is what makes it dry. It's the same uh, stuff that's in red wine. It gives it that dry kind of nyam, nyam kind of taste. I don't like them. Uh, tannins can fuck off. So uh, setting a timer for the brew time and taking it out straight away, like when when that timer goes off, pulling out that tea bag, um, not squeezing the tea bag. Like um, I always want to kind of squeeze every last drink of tea out of the tea bag so I'm not wasting any and then toss out the dried out tea bag. But that also, you get all of, like, the dregs and stuff coming out. So if you just kind of pull it out and hold it and just let it sort of run and then once it kind of stops dripping without you shaking it, then toss it. Uh, and the last thing is if it's a green tea one, I'm not sure if you ordered black or green tea, but if it is green tea and those two together still feel a bit too strong, um, you can, when you boil the water, toss a couple of ice cubes into it and then stir it around to make them melt and then pop the tea bag in because green tea is supposed to be brewed at 80 degrees rather than 100 and boiled tea is at 100. So if you add the ice cubes, it brings it down just a bit to not damage the green tea so much so it tastes better. Yeah. Uh, and then if all of that's still too strong, then just brew it for less time because, yeah, it is, it's just a bit strong for you and that's that's okay. That's totally fine. Everyone has individual tastes. But, yeah, that's kind of my, my order of operations in terms of uh, getting the perfect brew. Uh, but you like part of your jump? I like to think so. I like to think so. 
Oh, you got black tea. Okay, well then don't don't worry about the ice cube thing then. Just just the other two, like setting the timer and then not squeezing it out. And uh, and then yeah, if if both of those it's still too strong after both of those, just brew it for less time. Or you can like double the water and do this and still brew it for the same amount of time and then save the other half, like pour out half of it and pop it in the fridge in a sealed container. So then the next time you have bubble tea, you don't have to brew the tea. You can just pull it out and go. That also works. Nozomi. Is it safe for her to go home? I mean, her mom is. Huh? Well, who's that? Oh shit. Guys, the window. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah, indeed. Oh shit. Uh, how long did you do it for? I don't remember. It's whatever's on the packet. I tend to forget shit because it's written there, so I don't have to remember it for next time. Jazz would be a better person to ask, but yeah, it should be written on the packet with the brewing instructions. Did you see her? She was wearing an oversized mask. You, you don't think it could have been her? The smiling woman? It totally is. And it's Nozomi's mum. You okay, Arco? Who the heck was that? Whoever it was, she got away. No one over here either. Fine by me if we don't find her. Ugh, my heart's still pounding. Stupid ghosts don't scare me. I've got my shrine girl powers on my side. Holy fist, yeah! She's adorable. <clears throat> right. Anyway, we've got more important things to worry about. You think Nozomi's okay? I don't know, but I'm kind of worried. Maybe we should try to find out where she went. No need. Wataru knows where she is. I do? Oh yeah, I do. We'll be right back. Wait, what? I'm coming with you. You should wait here in case Nozomi comes back. I should. Then I'll go with Minato, Minato and Wataru. Don't you dare leave me alone out here. Yeah, you should wait with Akko. We won't be long. Uh, okay, if you say so. Right, let's go. Yeah. Oh shit, the event at the school where a couple of kids die. We've just left them alone at the school. Fuck. So, she said to meet her at the station, right? Yep. All right, then we better hurry. I do have a Hydro Redemption, so I'm gonna do that. Go. I keep feeling like I need to click back onto the game, but I don't, because it's on Switch, it's different. Yeah, look. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Yeah, it's a... It's a thing. Alrighty. <clears throat> no one's here. We're a little early. Beach your music? I know, I love it. Apparently it's on Spotify. Because when I googled the kids we were, it came up with the Spotify thing. Like a Spotify listing. Uh, so, um, did Nozomi tell you? Tell me what? That she's moving. She's what? She didn't say anything about that. It's tomorrow, the move. That soon? Yeah, she told me to tell you, but there never seemed to be a good time to. Oh, well, that explains the letter. I guess today's our last day together. I hope she'll be all right, going home, I mean. I hope her mum won't get too mad at her. What about her dad? She, um, doesn't have a dad. Oh, well, that makes two of us. Three. Yeah? Yeah. Guess all our families are kind of messed up, huh? Mine, yours, Gotetsu's, and Akko's. You met her dad. 
Yeah, he was all like, stay away from my daughter, you punk. <laughs> he said the same thing to me. Is having a normal family really that hard? Who knows? Um, Otaru? What happened to them? Your mum and dad. Truth is, I don't really know. If they're actually dead or not. Uh, yes! Button! Look at this little battle, it's so cute! We haven't had a battle this little for so long, it's adorable! Okay, let's, let's do this. Start battle! This story always breaks my heart. I know, right? It's like a walking, talking trigger warning. But like, in the best way, if that makes sense. Like, it approaches all of these really tough topics with poise and grace. It's great. I'm I'm really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. <laughs> to war! Yes. To victory! Congratulations to Meaty, Deathlock, and Faden on all of your bonus shit. Congratulate. Oh, right. Two tears at once. And I have a... What is this? Bronze QA healer skin. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Let me just open up these tiers. <clears throat> okay. So we can swing by the token chest and then the skin chest at the same time. So I think we're going to do that. Challenge level very easy. It's a maze, and I don't know what this description is, but um, they're all glitched. It's glitched. The The whole event is called glitched, so all of the shit is going to be, wait for it, glitched. Uh, right, what am I... what am I placing? Healers and paladins. So I have healer with a 60-minute cooldown. And the Paladin with a 60 minute cooldown. All right, so it doesn't matter which. I'll just pop this one down to start. And I can rotate between them. And that'll, that'll be golden. That'll be it. Uh, what did I do that for? I didn't need to do that. Fantastic. Let's switch back to here. Beautiful sort of sadness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It approaches these really difficult topics with, with just sensitivity and realism as well. Like, it's not this, like, it's not going on and on and on about how all this shit is horrible and stuff. It's just kind of, it's approaching it from the perspective of these kids. Like, this is my reality. This is what my family's like. It sucks. Like, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, um, right. So Wataru says, uh, if they're actually dead or not. He doesn't know about his parents being dead or not. What? They've been gone basically my whole life. They left when I was just a baby. That's horrible. My grandma told me they died and that I should just, I should just forget about them. Oh, that's, um. Hey, what did it say in your notebook? Something about your wish being granted if you solve all seven mysteries? Yeah. I think that's true. Be nice if it was. Do you know what your wish would be? Mm-hmm. To... to see your parents? Nope. I... I've given up on that already. I'd wish for my own family. <sighs> I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> the one I had is gone, but... But in the future, I want to meet someone, you know, someone nice. And, um... I want to make sure my kids don't ever experience what I did. Wataru. Who knows if I have it in me? I... Ah, uh, <laughs> that sounded really weird, didn't it? Sorry. Uh, the thing is, I... Um, you can't tell him, you fuck knuckle. Don't do it. No, 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 no. I don't know how to put this, but... Stop. You cannot tell him you will break the thing. Uh, no. St what? Spit it out already. You do have it in you. I'm sure of it. Okay, that's 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 acceptable. 
Uh, so, um, until then, yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. I just forget that's brutal. Agreed. When you run out of bubble tea tea bags, can you use shop bought ones? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, however, you will probably run out of syrup around the same time as you run out of tea bags, unless you're doing like half brews, like if you're using one tea bag for two batches. Because uh, uh, but then you'll run out of syrup before you run out of tea bags. Um, the kits are designed so that you get just enough, like just enough to make however many servings. Um, so yeah, you won't, you, you probably won't run out of tea bags early. Um, uh, but yeah, you can use shop brought ones. The only difference is like if you grab open a, a tea bag from the store versus a tea bag from the bubble tea club, you need like four or five tea bags from the store to, to make the same like brew as you'd get with a bubble tea club bag because they're just that much bigger and have that much more tea in them. Ah, good on you, Minato. I know. He look. He got there. He got there. Just take care of yourself, okay? Be mindful of of your health and stuff. Uh, okay. Thanks, I guess. Weird fucking thing for kids to say to kids, right? But what's up with you? You sound like an old geezer. See, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> She's here. You gotta hide. Oh, uh, um, hurry up. I'm surprised you actually showed. Well, you know. And you're alone, right? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't I be? Uh-huh. Okay, we can catch the next train. Um, I, I was thinking, and I really shouldn't... Wah! Huh? That's the smiling woman! Why? Why are you here? I've been looking all over for you. Where have you been? Mum, I told you. Fucking told you. What? That's your mum? What were you thinking? I was this close to going to the cops. We're going home now. No. Smack. Hey. We are going home. You hit me. So? What are you looking at me like that for? This is what you get for talking back. Try it again. See what happens. Stop it. You can't... You can't hit kids. You're supposed to be a grown-up. Grown-ups don't do that. Wataru... Who is this boy? He's... I'm her friend. What? Hey, get back here. Nozomi. Nozomi. Good on you, Atari. Passes love check, Bailey. Oh, she's getting real indeed. Finally. Caught up with you. It's okay, she's not chasing us. Just thought I was gonna push her onto the track. So did I for half a second there, and I'm like, hang on a, a no, mm -mm. Like I know that this this has been dealing with some fucked up shit, but I do not think Minato's dad pushing his mother-in-law, future mother-in-law, onto the tracks is. I think that's. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't think that's quite where we're going. <laughs> uh, hello, Neke. Hope you're doing well. Watch too many bad movies. Oh, dear. Are you all right, Nozomi? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what? Leave me alone. It's fine. This always happens. No way am I leaving you alone. She... She always hits you? No. My mum's never hit me before. Then... I know what you're thinking. No, they weren't from her. But... Thanks. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> 
Man, I can't keep up with these 80s kids. <laughs> really regretting all the times I ditched Jim now. <gasps> me too, Minato, me too. Holy fuck. Oh shit. Is that an earthquake? Oh well, I gotta catch up to those two. Fuck. I bet they're headed for the school. well-written book slash movie. I'm- I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Meh. Almost there. Another earthquake. Earthquakes? Wait a second. Why do I have this weird feeling all of a sudden? Like I heard something about an earthquake somewhere recently. Think, Minato, think. Where could- wait, where could I have heard about earthquakes? something I have. Oh, that's it. It was on the flyer. The flyer? Flyer. That's it. The flyer. The one I got before I came here. Where did I put it? <laughs> As in earthquake killed kids at school. Yep. Kagami Elementary School. Memorial service for victims of the great quake. The great quake. The comet that appeared 33 years ago is about to visit again. Join us in a moment of silence under its light to honour the children lost in the disaster. I'm actually going to cry. <laughs> oh, I'm going to grab those because I'm going to need them. Kids died 33 years ago on the day the comet came. That's today! Yes, Minato. Note, students are now strictly prohibited from entering Kagami Elementary after dark. The gym storeroom that collapsed during the disaster has also been rebuilt to anti-earthquake standards. Parents and guardians can rest assured of the school's safety. The gym storeroom collapsed? <laughs> right when I was almost out of time, it finally clicked. What it was I came here to do. The incident I had to prevent. The time written on this flyer is 10 minutes from now. Chapter 13, complete. Ah, oh, fuck. Yep, I'm gonna, um, yep, mm-hmm. Oh, uh, fuck. This is gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally fine. <clears throat> Grab some water. Chapter 14. Return. Wataru! Nozomi! <clears throat> I thought you'd be here. <clears throat> Whoa, you look like the world's about to end. Why are you so out of breath? Ah, sorry, Minato. I totally forgot. I didn't mean to leave you. No, that's... that's not it. See the comment in the background? Then what is? I'll explain later. There's no time now. Where are Arko and Kotetsu? They aren't still inside, are they? Oh, uh, beats me. What? We can't get the door open. It's locked. Locked? Hey, is anyone out there? Kotetsu, is that you? Yeah, hey, can you open the door? I think it's locked from the outside. How'd it get locked from out here? Why is it locked? What do you mean, why? It's a storeroom. The janitor probably shut it. No, 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 no. What is it? Think, think! I can't give up yet. There's got to be something I can do. Bash the door down? 
The whole reason I'm here is to stop this from happening. Or the window in the back. Break that. <clears throat> it's locked shut. Yes, okay, we know. <sighs> I don't care about... Yes, popular notebook. Let us collect shit. Okay, so we can't get around to the window. Are you okay? You look like you're gonna be sick. What's wrong, Minato? You're acting really weird. Yeah, so would you if you knew. Red and blue pencil, lovely. Bent spoon. Okay. Sure, we'll take it. But, like... <clears throat> We're just cutting a lot of onions. Exactly. So many onions. Why they do? I'll break it with kid strength. Three kids. <laughs> Climb up on the roof. No time to get help. I have to get that door open ASAP. <laughs> What's wrong, Minato? You're acting really weird. What do I do? How can I get this door open? Break the window. Kotetsu, the window! You can smash it and climb out through there. Are you crazy? We can't do that. We get in so much trouble. It doesn't matter. Just do it. Please. It won't break anyway, Minato. The glass is reinforced with wire. It is? What do I do? How can I get this open? Uh, force it open. No way am I strong enough to force open an iron door. Well, just- you didn't even try, dude. Come on. Yeah, maybe I've got something that could help. Think, think. Maybe the fucking key? All I have is this stupid key. Wait, this is the key to the storeroom. Oh my god, can I can I smack him upside the head? <laughs> can I smack him? What the fuck? Where did we get that? Oh my god. Oh my god, Minato, I'm gonna kill you. Seriously, Jesus fucking Christ. Kotetsu, Akko. Kotetsu. Ako, Kotetsu. What? Where am I? Where are Ako and Kotetsu and Wataru? Got sent back. We ran out of time. <clears throat> Where did all this construction come from? Hold up, am I back? If this is what I think it is. <clears throat> That's where they were all along, it was indeed. <clears throat> Wait a second. I'm back. I'm totally back. This is my own time. I only had 72 hours, after all. I must have made it right at the last second. I did it. I did it! I did it! Did you actually, though? Or did you change nothing? How do you know you did it? You were literally in the gym storeroom when the, when the fucking thing hit. You killed all five of you rather than just the two of them. Time to take a look around town and make sure the future actually did change. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. <clears throat> I don't think it has. 
Oh yeah, I should check the date on a newspaper or something in the convenience store. Ah, perfect. Someone tossed one. Let's see. Uh, Ara Habaki's Comet Approaches. Woohoo! I'm 33 ba years back in the future, right when I left. So then what day is it? Where's the date on this paper? Sure, 95 August X. Huh? Show a 95? That can't be right. The Showa era ended at year 64. Shit changed, yo! <clears throat> Must have been a typo. I should walk around town a bit more. Tetsu's place is still here. Huh? What's with this notice? It is with heavy hearts that we must announce our closure. Thank you for the many long years of your support. checking of things and stuff. I reckon it wants me to go to the school. Makes sense to me. Oh, but I can't. never go to the school in the original thing. I forgot about that. <clears throat> no way. What are you staring at, kid? Got something on my face? Katetsu, is that you? What? Who the... are you? You... you don't remember me? Huh? You! Yeah, it's me! Who? Psych! Bah ha 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 Ugh, are you drunk? But, but it's good to see you, I'm so glad you're alive. I was starting to worry that maybe the storeroom had, you know... The storeroom? How'd you know about that? Um, I... Thanks a lot for bringing up something I'd rather forget, kid. I'd never have gotten sick if it weren't for that accident. Huh. Not too much longer before I end up just like... Just like... What's wrong with me talking about this with some little punk? Um... Damn it, this is killing my buzz. Gotta get more drink in me. Yeah, something be fucked up. He's sick. Sounds like it's his lungs. Just like my dad. I gotta keep looking around and figure out what the heck is going on. Where haven't I checked yet? The graveyard. If they survived, they all got sick. Um, given that it was the 80s, what else do you think an earthquake would have shaken loose? Yeah. This 
grave. The one with Dad's name on it. Mum! I gotta hide. Wow, Nozomi really was Mum. Now that I'm getting a closer look at her, it's totally obvious. But wait, if Mum's here, does that mean... Hey, stranger. Can you believe it's almost the anniversary of that earthquake? What an awful night, hey? It's still beyond me how we all got out with nothing more than scratches on us. Remember, Mum was sick as well. And his sister's sick. There are, like, things and, and shit and stuff. Hey, Jess. Hope work went well. Well, and all that dust. Who'd have thought that's what ended up doing us the most harm? Anyway, I get to see an old friend today. It'll be good to catch up. It's been... I don't know how long. I should get going. We said we'd meet at the shrine in a few minutes from now. But I'll be back to see you again soon, love. You missed everything, <laughs> by the way. She said love. Does that mean they worked it out? They got married and... And... Age 40. No, I didn't change anything. You didn't change nothing. Did I mess up? And I said thank you. Much appreciated. Hey Castle, how you going? A bit of sweet, I know, right? Oof, that'll be the end of chapter 14. Maybe? We've still got two more chapters. Like fucking... <laughs> The shrine. Yeah, I should head to the shrine. Mum said she was meeting someone there. Maybe that'll help me figure out what happened. Someone. It's Arco, you dipshit. Okay, well, I'm all right. Good to hear. Good to hear. No, it's Larry. Oh, I'm gonna smack you, Jess. There's mum with, wait a second. Thanks for today. I had a great time. Sorry it had to be so rushed. Apparently they found something strange at the construction site. Don't worry about it. There's always next time, right, Akko? Yes, I knew it was her. I'm so glad she survived too. I'm sorry to hear they're getting rid of the shrine. Oh, it's fine. Dad's the only one who would have cared, and he's dead. Honestly, I'm kind of excited that today's the last day I ever have to wear this getup. But it looks so good on you. <laughs> I don't care how good it looks, I'm never putting it on ever again. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. Tell Katetsu I said hi, and I hope he feels better. Will do. Tetsu, he'll get better, right? I don't know. Wataru didn't. Yeah. <laughs> you never were one to beat around the bush. Oh, I wasn't. Sorry. You think. You think we'll be okay? We inhaled our fair share of the. you know. of the asbestos. Yeah. You think that's the reason the storeroom ended up collapsing? Does it matter? Knowing one way or the other wouldn't change what's happened to us. I guess not. Hey, you've been hacking up a storm this whole time. Don't tell me. I'm fine. I've just got a cold. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you something before I go? What is it? When we first met, way back when, um, yeah? 
Wasn't there another kid? I knew it. You think so too? Does that mean you remember? Only vague bits and pieces, but yeah, I thought it was just me. Of course not. Who could forget something that important? The Magi. I've heard that somewhere before. Where, what was it again? Ah, <sighs> just woke up. Fantastic. Fear me swearing at children now? Always. I'm kidding. I, I don't do that IRL. Under my breath, or in my head, maybe. But, like, not allowed. Respecting parenting decisions. Uh, skip the fucking suck in any stealth game. Correct. But it's also, like, 11. So, you know. So many different emotions right now. I know, right? Minato, the mystery, the magi. I've heard that somewhere before. What was it again? A legend. One passed down in this town, this shrine, for generations. The magi is a traveler from another world. A traveler? On the night the star falls, the Magi will appear. An envoy from eternity's far shore. The Magi is to be feared. The Magi is to be sheltered. Offer aid in time of need, and your heart's deepest wish shall be granted. But once he leaves, every memory of his passing will be forgotten. Go back once more. Well, older him said he couldn't because once they've removed the thing from the dig hole, what's it? That's it. No more. No, no chances. So I think that's the whole, he only got one shot. And if he failed, he's going to have to live his life and then travel back and like work out the time travel thing like his past self did. And then come back in and tell the child version of him again to go back and try again. You know, like it's a whole loop thing until he gets it right. But maybe we got it right. Who knows? Well, we're, we're going to find out. We're going to do the thing where we play the game and figure it out. Uh, this one, I reckon. Battle, go! Oh, I think we're going to annihilate this one. Maybe? Unless it glitches. Ah, blow up the building before it falls down. Simple. Damn, it's like a Witcher game. You always try and do the right thing. Something else goes wrong. So you mean like life. <laughs> you mean like life. Congratulations to Meaty, Deathlock, and Faden on your bonus shit. Fucking uh, deja vu. You guys won the last round as well, didn't you? Shit, that RNG. Hey, glitched bronze badge. I think I need some fucking painkillers. Um, yep. I'm dying. Ooh, token chest. Let's fucking do this. Do I have any more? I do. We're good. We're good. Uh, healer. Awesome. Yeah, the, the battle is definitely scaled up now that it realizes we don't have, like, three people. My head is misbehaving. Follow the link in chat, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Uh, button. Button! What a strange legend, but it's just a hokey old superstition, right? Of course it is. Until it's not. Blech. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why I asked you such a weird question. <clears throat> it's fine. Awkward silence. We'll get another chance to see each other, won't we? Of course we will. Maybe even at one of our weddings. Haha. <laughs> you mean yours. I had enough with just the one. Right. I don't want to say goodbye. Neither do I. But I have to get going. I know. Goodbye, Nozomi. You know that's not my real name, right? Oh, that's right. 
<laughs> so much ominous. Yeah. <sighs> I guess I really was the Magi, but I don't understand. Do they really not remember me at all? Now what should I do? Maybe there's something in the Seven Mysteries notebook. Yeah, I should read through it and see what mysteries I still need to solve. Oh, I can check the Magi off the list. Maybe I don't need to give up after all. That leaves. The Suchinoko! I totally forgot about our trap! I bet it's still there! Guess I ought to head back to the cemetery again. <clears throat> oh yeah. What was that mum said about weddings? Um, I had enough with just the one. Guess that means it didn't work out between them after all. Why? How do you end up hating someone you loved? Maybe it's one of those things I won't understand until I'm older. Or maybe it ended because he died. Good lord. Exactly, or he, you know, died. Mm -hmm. This is where we laid the trap for the Sushinoko. Doubt it's still here, there after 33 years, but it's worth checking. Didn't he just say, I bet it's still there? Uh, where do we put it again? <clears throat> I can't believe it. It's all rusty and banged up, but it's still here. I don't know why I'm surprised. No one would mess with an old mousetrap in some far-flung cemetery corner. Ugh, this is so gross, but I gotta check inside. Ugh, what's this fat, crusty thing? Probably a, you know, mouse. Crusty thing. Brilliant. It kind of looks like a snake. Is this it? Ah, uh, no way. Couldn't be. There's something else in here. A plastic bag? And there's something inside it. It's a letter. It's all old and faded, but I think I can still read it. This is the best spot I can think of to leave this letter for you. I hope you find it. Actually, I know you will. It's been three days since the earthquake since you disappeared. None of the grown-ups would look for you, no matter how much I begged them to. I haven't been able to sleep at all since that night. I'm too on edge. I hate thinking that maybe you're still there somewhere. Inside the storeroom, buried under all that rubble. I don't know what else to do, with no one bothering to look for you. <laughs> no one even remembers you. Not Akko, not Katetsu. They keep telling me you don't exist. I couldn't believe the dumb things they were saying. I thought maybe they'd gone crazy or something. Oh, fuck. Oh, but now I don't know. Maybe it's not them. Maybe it's me. I mean... I can't remember either. What was your name? If you ever read this letter, I want you to come find me. I want to know you're okay. Please, otherwise I might feel like- I, otherwise I feel like I might really lose it. To my lost friend, Wataru. Oh, fuck. Even Wataru forgot about me? Maybe that means the legend is true, the one Arko mentioned. But he didn't forget about you, like not properly. He knew you existed. He just couldn't remember any details. Uh, maybe that means the legend is true, the one Arko mentioned. That everyone really does forget the Magi. This isn't getting me anywhere. <laughs> nah, sniffly. <laughs> I still don't know anything about what ended up happening. That ship. Maybe I ought to check out the shrine one more time. It's the only clue I've got left. It's almost sunset. I bet I'll be able to get to the ship once it's dark. Only Wataru. 
only Wataru. The rest of them forgot, and then but I feel like the the memories kind of came back after time, you know. Exactly. The ninjas need to stop cutting onions. <sighs> Weird. There weren't any cops here a few minutes ago. Sorry, this area's off limits. They found something suspicious buried back there. Could even be a bomb. You have been here. Wouldn't that be something? Wahaha. That's the exact same thing he said the other day. Oh, that must mean I came back right before I left. I have something in my eye. I know, right? Holy shit. Hey, what are you doing out this late? Kids your age should be in bed. Go on, run along home. D did something happen? Huh? Why do you know something? Crackle, come in. This is questing urge assistance. This is Takahashi. Copy that. Scram, kid. Get. Shoo. It's exactly the same as what happened last time. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Holy moly. That's me. Oh yeah, this is when I head to the time machine. Hey, maybe. If I can go to the past again, maybe then I can actually fix things. I gotta go after him. I mean me. Makes the time show. I know. Um, uh, oh. That policeman over there was looking for you. He was? Uh, Officer Takahashi. Officer Takahashi sent you? Why didn't he come himself? Wait just a second. Are you pulling my leg here? Uh oh. I better do something. <laughs> Officer! Over here! Oh my god, it was us! Jesus Christ. Hurry! Oh, oh no! Hurry! Hold on, justice is on its way! Ah, he's hitting right for me! Duh, Minato, you shouted! <laughs> I gotta get out of here! Oh my god. Oh my god. I made it. So that was me back then. Anyway, I better hurry. <clears throat> it's a Minato party. Be old Minato, young Minato, and experienced young Minato. The loops are starting, they are. <clears throat> Where'd I go? I'm not here. Did I already leave? <laughs> I haven't seen a premonition in a while. Do different though. Gah! Look, long time no see. Hey, you haven't seen me around here, have you? I mean, not you, me, but uh. How unfortunate. What? You seem to have failed. H how did you know? Because we're back here. This isn't the future we ought to have returned to. I knew it! I didn't change anything after all, did I? That isn't exactly true. You did save two of them. You mean Arko and Kotetsu? Indeed. The lengths you went to for their sakes, that was well done. But I still couldn't save Dad. No, that is most unfortunate. Listen, I need a favour. No. What? You can't go back again. That's what you're about to ask, isn't it? What do you mean I can't? I mean you can't. It isn't possible. Why not? There isn't enough energy left. I just sent you to the past. There has to be something. There has to be something we can do. There isn't. Not until the machine recharges. Thirty-three years from now. I 
didn't give up. I tried everything I could think of. But nothing worked. And even though he was almost out of energy, he, future me, I mean, stayed to tell me one last thing. It's not much, but I will return a small amount of your time before. And now what I want you to do is live. Live well. Live fiercely. Remember, you only get one chance at a life. At life. It kind of freaked me out, the way he said it, like it was the most important thing in the entire world. Um, right. Mum and Mirai are probably waiting at the station right about now. Time to go home. Weird. It feels like it's been ages. assumed I'd lived around. Minato! You had me worried sick. Don't you ever do that again. Looks like I got here super late. Mum got angry and cried a lot and demanded to know where I'd been. I was in shock. I'd never, ever seen her get like that before. And then... She drew her hand back and I could have sworn she was going to smack me. But... Oh, I can't believe you. You're not gonna... I'd never hit my children. Not ever. I'm sorry. Um, Mum? Oh, shit. Where's Mirai? Is she okay? What? Fuck. Ah, oh, what are you talking about? She's in the hospital, remember? What? Don't tell me you've forgotten we promised to visit tomorrow. I... She's in the hospital? Well, now that we're on the subject, I suppose now is as good as ever. Listen to me, Minato. What is it? Mirai isn't going to get better. What are you saying? But they did all those tests with our, our bone marrow and they really hurt. Nothing took. No way. Minato. I... Mom, are you okay? What's wrong? Why are you shaking? I'm okay. My darling boy, will you promise me something? Don't you leave me too, okay? I don't want to be alone. Mom. Ah, <sighs> he changed plenty of things. They're just not things that he thought he was going to change Hi, or the in the way he thought he was going to change them. Ah! months oh my god thank you so much for your support much appreciated I stopped for his mum it changed her oh, I hope you're all well indeed nurse I hope you're doing well too make you look easy what I miss oh my god yeah look I'm uh I'm emotional you missed a bit we're back in present day. We're no longer in the past. It was fucking heavy. It was a whole thing. And it's still a whole thing. This is still chapter 14. We've still got two more chapters after this one. I don't know what the- I'm- I don't think I'm prepared for this. I don't think I'm prepared for this at all. Well, I'm glad I got to see you, even just for a little bit. I'm sorry, Dad. I 
wonder if there are multiple endings. I don't think there are. Like, something tells me there aren't multiple endings, but like... I guess I was anticipating a happy ending. I guess we are still two chapters away from the ending. This isn't the ending. What? Excuse me. That's where my story ends. Hmm? You're not satisfied? Well, that's life for you. I managed to change the future. And... Okay, the internet said there were 16 chapters. We might be wrong. The internet might have been wrong. He hasn't disappeared himself. He did not disappear himself, no. I was able to save two precious lives. The lives of two of my parents and my friends. That day, my mum and dad were there. Everyone was there. And I'm here today. <laughs> no one knows what tomorrow will bring. But... I changed what happened today, so that means tomorrow's gonna change too. So I'm gonna live every day to the fullest. Side by side with my family, taking things one step at a time. Destiny doesn't decide what happens, I do. <clears throat> Is he considered his sister? No, but his sister's in hospital. So if you can with what you have, yeah. <laughs> what a story, yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck. Is it loading? Oh, okay. <clears throat> you know, Mum. You're the one who should have promised. Believe me. No, are you happy with this fate? No, <laughs> right. All right, where's the thing? Where's the button? Oh, I can't type. All right, there you go. You've got two minutes to vote. Are you happy with this fate? <clears throat> and I'm going to do some redemptions because I need them. Computer says no. So all of that was really linear though. I don't know how. I mean, there were even, even times where we actually had a choice on what to say. When we picked the wrong option, it went back and looped back to, do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't feel like there was, I don't know. It's really interesting. You have the key to the shed at one point. What happened to it? We used it to unlock the door. And then when we were in there, all five of us, the earthquake happened and the, the thing collapsed. I 
I wonder what it'll let us do. Like, or if it'll get us to play through the whole thing again, or even just like key moments. Uh, do, you, do you remember at the very beginning, um, Mum was going to a memorial service for the great for, to the uh, memorial service for the victims of the great quake. Well, that was the end time, like the end time, like as the earthquake happened, we got sh punted back to to today time. No, eighty five percent of the no of the vote says no. We are not happy with this fate. Okay then. No. We're not happy with this fate. <clears throat> I can't move. Ah, it's you. I've been waiting. The wheels of fate aren't done turning yet. I wonder how many people actually say yes. I wonder if there's a YouTube video of what happens when you actually say yes. Time travel to electric boogaloo to be continued. What? Chapter 15. Here we go. Ah, it's you. I've been waiting. <clears throat> Why am I back here? How unfortunate. What? You seem to have failed. Huh? Hey, wasn't I just here? Or, wait, how many times has this happened? What's got you so upset? Have you had another vision? I... Was all of that just a vision? A premonition? Tell me the truth. I didn't change the future after all, did I? That isn't exactly true. You did save two of them. You mean Ako and Kitetsu? Indeed. The lengths you went to for their sakes, that was well done. No doubt about it, this is the exact same conversation we had before. So what I saw earlier was a premonition. That means I still have a chance. After all, I managed to prevent all the other visions I saw, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, there's still hope. I can still get back to my real future. <laughs> no. What? You can't go back again. That's what you're about to ask, isn't it? What do you mean I can't? I mean, you can't. It isn't possible. Like I don't know that, there isn't enough energy to go back to the past, right? That's... yes. How did you... And it won't recharge for another 33 years, right? How- how do you know this? Wait, don't tell me you still remember what- Listen, I figured it out. I know what it is I was really supposed to do. It took messing up coming to this world to do it. But I finally understand. Next time I won't fail. So whatever it takes, I have to go back. Can it be true? Is this- is this the path to the future I hoped for? Then this isn't a failure? What are you talking about? There is one way. There is? You're not going to like it. Just tell me what I have to do. Are you certain, Minato? I'm dead certain. Don't! <sighs> he can go back and fix the past, but he can't come back to the future. If there's only enough energy to send him back, he won't be able to come through. He's dead. Like, guys, with the phrasing, come on. Like, seriously? Come on. <laughs> right? Surely. Surely. That's what I said, and I meant it to. Until he told me the cost. But even then... You still want to go? I still want to go. 
I see. Very well. Then I won't stop you. I get, I understand foreshadowing. Like, as a, as a storytelling device. I understand foreshadowing. But, like, come on! <laughs> Subtlety! <laughs> uh, Minato, this is farewell. Ah, <clears throat> oh, come on. He met his future self, yeah. He had, yeah. Back in, yeah, like way back at the start he had, yeah. The strong music. Okay. I am back, back to the past samurai check. <laughs> Push on a much right. It's time for a paradox. Marty, stop fucking with the space time continuum. It's always time for a paradox. Always about to settle his garage! <laughs> yes. There's no doubt in my mind now. I am not you. There's no way I could be. You're much stronger. Much braver. Minato. You have to get there. You will get there. To the future you deserve. Something changed. <clears throat> I'm back. I'm really back, but when exactly is this? Uh, maybe look at the sky. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. I gotta hurry. Chapter 15. Resolve. Huh? What the? How long has this been unlocked? Good thing I came along. Wouldn't want any of the students getting in here. Hey! Let's see. Now where did I put that key? Huh. I don't have it on me. Shoot. I probably dropped it somewhere. Oh man, the vice principal is not going to be happy with me. Guess I better go get the spare. The truth of the matter is uh, that no matter what he creates, a paradox in this game, unless he fails as bad as the predecessor, yeah. Huh? What are you doing here so early? D don't freak me out like that. I was afraid the smiling woman had come back to finish the job. Earthquake causing paradox. No, the earthquake already happened. It'd be an earthquake removing paradox. Maybe, I don't know. Ako, Kotetsu. What's with the face? You got a tummy ache or something? Is that why you came back? You know there's no bathroom here. One moment, please. Let us batal. Oh, to me, I love it. The They're eleven. Cut them some slack. Na 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 na. We gonna drink. Sounds like plan. Wait, why would he go in the shed? Because it's unlocked and the kids are there and the earthquake's about to happen so he can get them out of the the warehouse, the storehouse. Sh uh, storeroom. There you go, I found the word. No, no, no. Getting them out before they get locked in solves all the issues. No one inhales any asbestos and everyone lives long and happy lives. Did we remember to take stuff out for dinner tonight?
We did our win! I hope you got a delightful amount of tokens. Uh, congratulations to Deathlock, Axiom, and Durr on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Ooh, two tiers worth. <laughs> Keep in mind, captains earn the tiers faster than viewers because we can't place in multiple battles. We can only place in one, so we get more tokens to make up for that. So you won't be this far ahead unless you're placing consistently in a ton of different captains. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> But if you're not placing in multiple captains battles, like I highly recommend you do so. It does mean interacting more often, but you can just place like one unit in a battle and, and reap the rewards from that. Um, obviously you get more, I think you get more, oh, you get more potions if you make more kills, which obviously if you have more units, you're more likely to make more kills. But like beyond that, it is, it is well worth, um, actually doing the thing because, uh, and plus supporting more people as well. Like there are a bunch of people in, in my circle, like a bunch of streamers in my circle who will play. Um, so it's definitely worth having a scroll through the, the active captains and just seeing if there's anyone you recognize uh, and, and dropping some units to support, even if you don't hang out and chat with them. Every unit counts, especially when you're on the smaller end of things. Every unit counts. So yeah, do the thing. Um, Back well, welcome back. Uh, has more than one captain, are you sure? Huh? What do you mean? Um, so as a viewer, you can place in more than one captain's battles at once. I think it's three, or if you purchase the battle pass, you unlock a fourth captain slot. So you can place in all four of them at the same time. And the more battles you place in, the more tokens you earn, obviously. So it makes your, your tiers go up faster and stuff. Yeah. Is that why you came back? You know there's no bathroom here. Thank God they're okay. I've got plenty of time to be relieved later. Listen, we have to get out of here right now. What? Why? Uh, because... Found the kappa. It's gonna be an earthquake. Like, soon. It's not safe in here. What are you talking about? Seriously, who do you think you are? Nostra whatever his name is? Haha. <laughs> I knew they wouldn't believe me. Ah! What? Uh, see? <laughs> how, how did you know that would happen? You know, now that I think about it, this storm is pretty ancient, isn't it? All it would take is one big earthquake and... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's get out of here. I did it! Oh, okay, gotcha. Sorry, yeah, whoosh, straight over my head. Where'd they go? Um, didn't we like... I have rescued them. How do I, where do I... Oh, I guess I go to find, um, the, the others or something. Yeah, we go. So, uh, now what do we do? Well, they only went back to the warehouse, the, the storeroom, to meet up with these guys. So if we're waiting out here, they should come back to us here. <clears throat> we were supposed to wait for Nozomi to come back, but, huh? Hey! See? It's Wataru. What's got him all worked up? Wait, if Wataru's back, then that means... Wait, for me. What the? Minato, when did you? Good, you're here. Did you run all the way here? What's wrong? Man, I can't keep up with these 80s kids. She took Nozomi. What? Who did? The smiling woman wasn't... She was, uh... I hid and listened while Wataru explained. He said Nozomi's mum took her and left. That didn't happen the last time I was here. Guess that means the future's changed a little more. 
This is bad. Didn't the two of you try to stop her? I'm sorry, I just... Ah! Whoa, that was way bigger than the first one. Another earthquake? That's right, the quake! Oh no, how could I forget? I... I vanished. That must have been right when my 72 hours were up. Hey, um... Listen up. <clears throat> ah, time travel, yep. Yeah. There were two of him. Well, that was the original one who had 72 hours, and this is the Minato who went back afterwards again. So yeah, it's it's two separate, yep. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Paradox. Go save his mum, yeah. No more kids, but everyone lives. Solid mulatto. Nardo kept still. Kept still put sliding over. Huh? Okay. Ah, uh, yes. You're gonna rescue Nozomi? Yeah. Don't you kinda uh, need to know where she is first? I want to save her too, but I actually think I might know where she is. The next town over. The one with the movie theater? Yeah. You say that, but I'm not allowed to go there. Not until I get older. That's what my parents said. Same here. That's no place for kids, or whatever. Why do you think that's where she is? Because, uh, that's where she lives. Huh? That's what she told me earlier. Oh, then yeah, that's gotta be where she is. Then let's go. We gotta save her. Remember the premonition we had that was never actually solved? The one with the blonde woman with the, the cigarette and the officer outside? Something something hearing a ki kid screaming all the time? That's no movie theater. <laughs> Teleport site. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um. Uh, yes, let's go. We've got to save her. That's a battle station. What do you think? Well, how are we going to get there? It's pretty far. We'll take the train. Just us kids? Yep. That'd get us in so much trouble. Not to mention we're out way past dark, too. And I don't know we need to rescue her if she's with her mum. You sure she just wasn't taking her home? I'll go by myself if I have to. Seriously? Why? I don't know. I just have this feeling, like this is something I gotta do. But if I don't, I won't be me anymore. That I'll end up just like them. Just like those dumb grown-ups we can't stand. Haru. I understand. Let's go. When you put it like that, I can't back down either. Awesome! Any kids, 80s kids roll out. Yeah. Didn't they have a date at the movies at one point? Yeah, their very first date. Mum and Dad's very first date was at the movie theatre. Uh, we were way ballsy back in the 80s. And what are we waiting for? We better hurry. This is 80s Japan, though. Keep that in mind. Culturally, it's very different. <clears throat> Here's a Aw, oh, thank you, X. I'm pretty happy with it. Like, it just- it feels so much healthier. You have no idea. Like, just touching it, you can feel that there's- ah, oh, it's great. It's really nice. It doesn't feel dead and gross anymore. I have to, um, actually, hang on a second. Um, I have, uh, let me take this off. Because obviously I've got it tucked back um, because of the headset and stuff. It's all flat because of the headset and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Has, has a haircut. <laughs> it feels just so much better and like, holy fuck. This has been styled. She blow dried it and then uh, took a curling iron to it. Uh, and the curls have dropped out like a lot, but that's the whole point. It's like it's curls and then after a little while it turns into turns into waves. Um, and because it's fresh washed, it is kind of sitting quite flat on and because it's been blow dried. Um, usually I've got a little bit more volume than this. Um, but yeah, I am uh, 
I'm super happy. And it was when she washed it, right? And washed it and brushed it. She said it was down to here. And now like, look at how, you know, that's, that's, yeah. So like it's, it's, I've had quite a bit taken off, which is great, but it's, um, like it's the perfect length that I wanted. And I have a fringe again. <laughs> I have a fringe again that doesn't come down to, to like my collarbone or longer. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty fucking happy. Pretty fucking happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm very happy. Oh, two years since my last haircut. Two my fucking years since my last haircut. I'm I'm overjoyed. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Um, how are you? How's the game? I'm doing pretty well. The game is going wonderfully. Um, we hit an ending, and then we're like, no fuck that. We want a different ending, so it, it gave us the extra chapters. Um, like a model. <laughs> Whipped out hair. Yeah. Look, it's a thing. L'Oreal commercial. It's hair. It's hairdresser day. Like by the time I, because I um I wash it on my off nights. So I wash it the nights that I don't stream because I wash my hair at night. It's a whole thing. Um, so I, I usually end up like on on non stream nights. I shower a bit earlier, and I wash my hair so that it dries a bit by the time I actually go to bed. Um, and so it will not be as like silky and all that kind of shit after I wash it because I won't be blow drying it and I won't be curling it and all that kind of stuff. But I'm I'm really interested to see how it sits after I wash it. Because when I've been doing the whole curly girl thing and putting in the products and like scrunching it into my hair and then letting it dry naturally, underneath, like if I lifted my hair out like this, underneath here would be all wavy and beautiful. And then it would hit a point where the hair was just dead and it'd just look kind of gross and it'd get all tangled and stuff. So it'd be like this wonderful wavy hair and then it'd bunch into like spikes of tangled shit. Uh, but all those have been chopped off now. So I'm really, really interested to see how my hair sits when I do my normal routine, but with no dead ends. I'm, I'm keen, I'm keen. Um, she's refringed, she is! Looks awesome, it's gonna feel really odd. The first time you wash your hair! Oh, fuck yeah, Kim. Always does, doesn't it? What's the game about? This is the game we were playing last Wednesday. The kids we were. It's the end of it. Oh, man, what a question. Um, yeah, it's it's a, about timey wimey stuff and love, question mark. Yeah, it's it's the same game we were playing last week. Uh, someone clip that lip. Yeah, send it to her hair. Oh, absolutely! If there's, if there's a clip of that, um, I, like... I, she asked me, you know, what do, what am I doing for the rest of the day? And I'm like, well, streaming. <laughs> um, and turns out she has a Switch. She knows what Twitch is. It's like, she she's just kind of discovered gaming in the last sort of 12 months or so, all this kind of stuff. So yeah, we were having a, a bit of a chat about things like Zelda uh, and, you know, Breath of the Wild, stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's... It was yeah. So and she she asked me like you know let me know what what your what your viewers think. So by all means, by all means. Um, fancy. Uh, like if someone saw the game as wondering about buying it, what would you say it is about? I can't summarize it without without massive spoilers. I can't summarize it. Um, I'd say read the Steam page because. That's what the devil like. I'm not. I, if I if I try to describe it, I will give. I, it's it's full of like you cannot explain it without spoilers. Um, so I would read the Steam page. Yeah. Um, ten out of ten. Thank you, X. It was a universal praise there. Oh fuck yeah, absolutely. She did a phenomenal job. It's the first time I've been to this hairdresser, and I'm I'm blown away. I'm so happy, so happy with it. Uh, hey, Wataru. What's the plan once we find Nozomi? What do you mean? Like, what are we gonna say to her mom? We're gonna say that she better stop hitting Nozomi. Wataru, are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? Oh, and then? <clears throat> I'll say that we'll go to the movies some other time during the day. The movies? Yeah, Nozomi asked me to go with her. She what? You mean like a... Look, the train's coming! We gotta go! 
It's like Fight Club, okay, Fear. Can't talk about it. No, like if like if you weren't here last week, it was literally last Wednesday. We played through the first 12 chapters. There's 16 chapters total of the game. We played through the first 12 chapters. It would literally take me the whole stream to explain the storyline leading up to here, and I would miss shit because my brain's a colander. Um, so if you're really looking for like an in-depth explanation, I would highly recommend watching the VOD from last I Wednesday. Hydrate. Or if you want a brief rundown of what the game is without spoilers, is to read either the Steam page or the, the Nintendo shop page, which is, I'm playing it on Switch, uh, and it releases today, I think, on uh, on PC via Steam. I had a look, it's not on the Humble store, it's not on the Epic store. There is no, I can't, um, therefore I can't unfortunately give you an affiliate link, um, but it is on Steam and I believe it's releasing today. Mm -mm. Ah, uh, that training timing. <laughs> for some reason, that's totally fine. That's what VODs are for. Okay, what is the gameplay mechanics? It's story. It's a visual novel. You press A. <laughs> you press A. <laughs> like, yep. Uh, boy, he's something else. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen him so determined. Ah, good evening, Seeker. How you going? Welcome back. Wataru. Yeah, it's one of those games you you have to play it, you have to watch it. So uh, you have to play it or watch it. So like, give it five minutes to actually watch the gameplay, and yeah, that'll yeah. Uh, why is he up here? Should it be on the other side? Everyone ready? If you'd saw seen the train, wouldn't it be the other platform one? All right then. Wait, do any of you have any money? Money. For the tickets. <laughs> I don't have any on me. I hardly ever take the train. I totally forgot you have to pay. This can't be happening right now. Huh? Wait, I've got something better. Some drunk old man gave me these tickets earlier. Weird, but awesome. Nice one, Minato. I get it now. Solving all seven mysteries leads toward the right future. The notebook is guiding us. Uh, personally, I didn't like Fiamma's hair because of the crippling gender envy it gave me 12 out of 10 though. Oh, fairy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, weird but awesome, great approach to life, I reckon. Look, I think so too. I think so too. So, so dupe. Once you get on the train, you might not be able to come back. There are a few hidden catalog items in the next town, but you won't be able to come back to look for anything you haven't found here. Please save your progress if you want to be able to complete your catalogue. Let's do that. Ah, uh, were you able to complete all mysteries in 1 to 14? No. No. I don't think so. Oh, there was the, the Sushinoko, and then we went and found the, the trap. So I think maybe we did? But we, we, we got it too late. Like, we got it back in our own time rather than in the past, I think. Yeah. We also figured out that we were the Magi, but again, we didn't actually figure it out until we were back in the current, uh, current time. I like that it tells you this here. Um, so I'm going to say yes, because I've saved it now. Esters. I did a burp. Here we go. Sixth mystery that wasn't written yet. No, no, it was. Um, that was the Magi. But Akko just didn't say it because it was a thing that she didn't want to talk about because she has a whole lot of knowledge of it because she is a Shrine Maiden. You okay, Akko? You seem nervous. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? We won't get in trouble? We'll be fine. Just, I've never taken the train by myself before. Me either. I always go with mum. Huh, kind of feels like we've grown up, huh? Hmm. I mean, everyone grows up eventually, right? So that means one day we will too. 
Yeah. I don't wanna. I don't wanna end up like my dad. No way. I don't wanna be like my dad either, or my mum. Hey, Wataru. What was it you told me earlier? What? Something about making your family happy once you grew up. Oh, <laughs> kind of weird to hear it said back to me like that. Listen, I need you to remember that. Huh? Why? I mean, grown-ups were all kids once. Tetsu's dad, Akko's dad. I bet when they were kids, they thought the same thing. I bet they were excited to grow up and live happy lives and be good people. But somewhere along the way, they forgot that. Some things probably didn't work out like they thought. Some days were probably really rough. So don't you dare forget who you are now, Wataru. No matter how old you get. Yeah, you're right, Minato. But why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? By themselves, remember the stories of friends they found along the way. Indeed, Marvin's dad, Melvin's dad. Who the fuck is Melvin's dad? Damn it, getting misty again. It's a bit that way, isn't it? Be? Next stop, Nexton. Nexton. Press the buzzer if you'd like to get off. We're here. My heart won't stop pounding. Come on. There is one way. There is? You're not going to like it. Just tell me what I have to do. It's simple enough, in theory. You see, there is enough energy. There is? To send you back. For a one-way trip. I fucking told you. Resolve. End one more chapter. No, file one. Yes. Chapter sixteen. The kids we were. Pachinko! Whoa, look at all the neon. How is it this bright this late at night? This is where the grown-ups like to hang out? So, where's Nozomi's place? Huh? What do you mean, huh? You know where she lives, right? Lead the way. Why would I know her address? All she told me was she lived in the next town over. What? Then how are we going to find her? Your guess is as good as mine. Fine, we'll just have to ask around. You want us to talk to these weirdos? No way! Uh, Jared's feeling a lot better. Jared's pretty much kind of recovered. Um, but unfortunately, Mads is not well enough to be upright for an extended period of time. But that's okay, we're just going to reschedule and have a blast uh, when all four of us are like, have the energy and wellness to like, fuck with each other royally, you know? <laughs> be far more fun that way anyway. Some grown-ups, yes, indeed. Talk to grown-ups? Ew, yep. How do you do fellow kidlings? Oh, good lord. Well, I'm down. I bet it'll be fun. But uh, what should we say? We don't even know her last name. We should ask if they know the mother and daughter who just moved to town. Good thinking, Minato. All right, then let's split up. <gasps> this cross from speed recovery? Agreed. Agreed. Um, I think they're both doing a whole lot better, just not quite better enough to do an extended stream. And that's understandable. I, I know the feeling. There are definitely some times that I wish I would have taken just that extra day off, you know. Ah, uh, so this is where the theatre is. I don't see any kids at all. Find anything, Wataru? Oh, uh, not yet. I'll try somewhere else. Hey, Wataru, I've got a favour. 
or actually, I guess more of a suggestion. Since the exhaustion factor with COVID is high. Oh, fuck yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You really should go to the movies with Nozomi. What? Why? Uh, the thing is, I know Nozomi's trying to play it cool about her mum hitting her or whatever, but I bet she feels really alone. She could use a friend right now. So it would probably make her really happy if you saw a movie with her. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. But then, wouldn't it be better if all of us went together? What? No, that'd just make her angry. It would? Why? Because, because she only invited you. I mean, I guess, but cheese and rice, how are you so dumb? <laughs> He's 11. Hmm, well, all right, I'll think about it. Anyway, I gotta go look around some other places. Actually, that's really nice. You put cheese and rice. All right, how good. Boosted. Hey, dupe, congratulations. Please work. Goes for the booster and for the, the plan in game. Cheese and rice do not mix well, IMO. I have had some servings of cheese and rice that have been freaking delicious. I've also had quite a few dishes that have involved both cheese and rice, but also other stuff. So I, I, I think by itself, maybe not so well, but like when you have other stuff involved, I don't know. Kids love cheesy rice. You know, I don't think I've tried. Well, I guess I know what you're having for dinner tonight. Yogurt and rice are great together. Really? Yogurt and rice? I'm guessing you're not talking about like strawberry play and rice. I'm guessing you're talking about like Greek yogurt or something? Banana and rice was good to- okay, maybe not. Banana and rice. I guess dessert sushi is a thing that exists. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is fucking phenomenal in like a lot of ways. Let's just- let's just put that out there. Okay. It's amazing. Ah, <laughs> try a time machine, how silly. Oh, that's hilarious. Lend your cash off a taxi, get home. So this is a pachinko parlor. This is where dad goes when he's slacking off work. Find anything out, Kotetsu? Ah, oh, uh, not yet. I'll keep asking. Uh, it's a very Persian thing. Mixing rice, sumac, and yogurt together on a plate with chicken dishes. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. What are you doing over here, Rucker? Uh, everyone keeps staring at me. What, they've never seen a girl in a shrine maiden robes before? It's stupid, I'm too embarrassed to talk to anybody. I'm hungry now, so am I. Fuck. Alright, I can't go out, so... Oh, isn't that the woman who- oh. How'd it go? Not good. Not a single person would actually talk to me. Everyone's drunk. Are all grown-ups this useless? Oh. Hey, what do you think's down this street? Yeah, none of us have gone that way yet, but that's the chick from the, uh, from the premonition. Back later? Not a problem. See you soon. It seems super sketchy. Akko, you and Katetsu should wait here. And why is that? I just have this feeling that maybe it's better you don't go down there. Yeah, maybe. I really don't want to go down there. Wait a second, why do I have to stay here? Because you're stronger than Minato. Oh, yeah? I am? You coming, Minato? Yeah. Let's see the three the three block cigarette. Remember? Hey, where do you think you two are going? Uh, don't make me call wait. Where do you two think you're going? Don't make me call the cops. Um, we we're looking for someone. Do you know the two who just moved to town? A mother and daughter. Who? The girl's about our age. Well, I guess maybe you should seem a little older. Um, 
She always wears white and puts her hair in ponytails. Oh, you mean Nozomi? You do know her. And the two of you are... We're her friends. She has friends? Yes. Huh, that's new. Her house is just up ahead, but no way am I letting little kids go there by themselves. Hey, get back here, you punks! Bow they do to each other. It's it's kind of like they're making them like, mm -hmm, like a nod, like a decision together, but they can't because they're blocks. <clears throat> yeah. Wataru, look! It's her mum. Can you wait here for a second? Yes, I can. Oh, for did it? <clears throat> Dropped it back here. I don't know why or how, but it did. It's fine. It's fine. That timing? Indeed. Best timing. First trimmer. I did not do that intentionally. I have redemptions. jump in on that. Thank you very much, Seeker. I feel weird about starting those things myself, you know. It's like forced engagement. I don't know. Uh, congratulations to v, v and Castle on all your bonus shits. Hey, tier six. This is a month-long event. Four weeks. It's cool. Missing face rogue skin. Look at the missing texture, get it? That's great. I love that. Oh, skin chest. So I already have the retro barbarian skin. I'm not sure how I got that. Um, oh, it's because it's from X, from like old, gotcha. And a retro mage skin, still to get, and a glitched musketeer skin. So there you go, three different skins that we can potentially get from these chests. So I hope that you'll place your units oh, so that we can uh, get you some skins. So I can place a healer. Follow that link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account. And drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Alright, I have more hydrates. Give me a minute. Someone care to drop a chair stream? <laughs> Run out of water. I'm already running low on water. <laughs> Love the chair streams, Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. Stretch. We're done! <laughs> we actually got three somehow in there. I thought I'd set it to two, but somehow we got three. That's really odd. Well done, Meaty! Congratulations! You kicked all of our butts. Nicely done. Two hydrates left. I'm gonna take one of these chair streams, I'm gonna refill the bottle, and I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna be right back.
I return. Apologies about that. But I'm done. Everything's good. Okay. So I missed a chunk of the story. The girl in white. Did we find out who she was? Uh, Nozomi's mum. The the smiling woman, the one in the background. Nozomi's mum. Enjoy your lurk, V. I hope you enjoyed your lurk. And lurk! Indeed! I have returned. Sorry about the extended delay there. Can you wait here for a second? Uh, you really want to do this alone? Yeah, why not? Aren't you scared? Duh, I can't stop shaking, but I... Then you should go. I was just thinking of saying it should be you. Minato. Go tell her what we came to say. I will. Um, hi. What the? You're the kid from the station. Yeah, um, my name's Tokyo Atari Manabu. I'm one of, of Nozomi's friends. Are you now? What are you doing out so late, and in this town, no less? I... Go home. Your mother must be worried sick. I want to talk to you. I don't. I told you to go home already, and I was even nice about it. You better listen before I get mean. <clears throat> you can do this. You can do this, Wataru. Wataru's a badass, correct. Please, I just... I just want you to stop. Stop what? Stop. Stop hitting Nozomi. Is that what you came all the way here to say? Yeah. Did she ask you to? No, it was my idea. And you're here all by yourself, without your parents. My parents are dead. They've been dead for a long time. The only ones here with me are my friends. I see. You're shaking. N no, I'm not. <clears throat> Can I show you something? Sure. Can you see it? Ah. Uh, gnarly bruise, isn't it? That's why I wear this mask all the time. How? Nozomi's not the only one who gets hit. Who did this? I thought I'd finally found a father for her. I thought this time, this one would be good to us. But then he went and hit her too. That creep, she's just a little girl. I'm such an idiot, and I've been a terrible mother. Manabu, was it? Y yes. You don't have to worry anymore. That creep is gone for good. So go home for the night, alright? I'll take you to the station. Okay. Oh, wait, um... There's something else I wanted to tell Nozomi. Stepdad, considering that she said, uh, sorry, apathy, yeah, I, I'd say, or stepdad would be more likely, considering she was saying, like, you know, I thought this one would be good to us, um, implies that it's a pattern. Which, I mean, it usually is. Um, it's incredibly difficult to see that you're in an abusive relationship until you're out of it. Like, yeah. And even, even when you are in it and you can see it, it's despicably hard to leave. It sucks. It was a moiter in. Ah, uh, look, maybe not. We'll, we'll see. We'll see, maybe that, that's probably why they're new to town. She moved to escape him. You were amazing, uh, you think? Anyway, we should head home before it gets any later.
It worked. It had to have worked. You were so cool. I was watching the whole time. Dad. Okay, X. <laughs> oh, you might not be able to come back to this area. Go meet up with Wataru and the gang. Explore a bit more. Let me uh, do one of these. Oh, look, there are a shit ton of files I can save to. Wonderful. So that should save for the um, collection y stuff. Time to go home. We didn't get to see Nozomi, but she's okay now. Yeah? You're sure? Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Phew. That's great news. What's great? How do we know she's really okay? Wataru said she was, so she is. Unbelievable. We just finished chapter 14. This is chapter 16. Um, it says up in the top, up above the camera, this said. Come on, let's go home. <clears throat> Wait! Minato must be so proud of his dad. Yeah, agreed. Nozomi! Ah, uh, I mean, shut up. How could you? How could you tell my mum about the movie? I'm sorry, I just, I didn't think it was, you know, a date. You, you dummy, who said anything about it being a date? Oh dear. There's something else I wanted to tell Nozomi. Is she here? I don't think she wants to see you right now. Oh, um, then can you tell her for me? Sure. Tell her, tell her that I do want to see a movie, but during the day. Huh? She asked me to go with her. Oh, did she? We can't go at night, so can you tell her I'll go if it's during the day? <laughs> All right, I will, but you know, you really ought to get a mother's permission first before you go asking her daughter out on a date. A date? Oh, um, can, can Nizumi and I please go to the movies together? You can, as long as it's during the day. You're welcome to come over any time. Thank you! <laughs> oh, and let me tell you one last very important thing before you go. This does that a lot. This game cuts shit off like that a lot. Oh my god. Kids are so cute. They're adorable. I'll come get you at your place. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep. Fine. So you don't need to cry anymore. I I'm not crying, dummy. Oh, and um, you should probably tell me. Tell you what? What your real name is. Mum told you. Yeah, that Nozomi is her name. At work it is, anyway. I'll tell you tomorrow, my real name. Yeah? Awesome! Um, I guess I'll see you then. See you later, uh, Nozomi. Bye. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah, go straight home, okay? Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. All of you.
her mum's a stripper? Potentially. Not necessarily, though. I mean, if they've just moved to the red light district to escape an abusive man, like, he, she didn't necessarily meet the abusive man in sex work. Like, abusive men fucking work as all sorts of stuff and engage all sorts of services. Like, it might have been that the, she moved to the red light district specifically because the rent was dirt fucking cheap because no one wants to live there and everything's run down and trashed and it was the only place she could afford on only her income when trying to escape an abusive person. Not every woman who is abused is a sex worker. Um, maybe just a fake name then? I mean, Madonna. <laughs> you know, like, there are all sorts of people who have, like, stage names or author names or whatever. I mean, she very much could be a sex worker. Absolutely. But not necessarily. What does Minato do now? Disappear? No idea. Shall we find out? It's finally over. <laughs> No, I know you weren't apathy. I know you weren't. Um, I was just using the the uh, comment as a springboard for discussion. That's all. Nothing wrong at all. Uh, aren't we all using stage names? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling in the 80s it was a little bit different, though. <laughs> it's finally over. Everything should turn out okay after this. Now, there's one last thing I have left to do. Who wrote the Seven Mysteries notebook? A notebook. Someone I know. Yeah, it has to be someone I know. This is the final mystery, is who wrote the notebook. But who? Yeah. The person who wrote the Seven Mysteries notebook was me. Makes sense. After all, there's only one person who knows the truth about everything in that notebook. Me. Who knows how many times I've been through this, guiding myself over and over again. All in the hopes that one day I'll get to my yeah, I'll get to the real future, fulfill my true destiny. Then that means me coming back again was necessary. I mean, future me even said so. That he, I, went back 33 years too, but failed. Guess he didn't try going back again. Not that I can blame him. After all, I can't go home. There was only enough energy in that ship for a one-way trip. But maybe now, Mum, Dad, and Mirai can finally be happy. He wrote it, absolutely. How can you know my name isn't my IRL name? We can't, there's no way to know. That's why when people come in and they have a, a username like Greg, I, I never assume that that's actually their real name because there is no possible way for me to know that. I'm not crying, they are. Exactly, Minato is the best of us. I'd like to think so. Everything okay, Minato? You seem kind of down in the dumps. Huh? Yeah. Oh, were you reading the Seven Mysteries notebook? Yeah. <clears throat> that reminds me. Wataru. Yeah? Here. This is for you. Because he has to give it to- yep. Huh? Why are you giving the notebook to me? I just want you to hang on to it. Alright. But- are you sure? I know it's really important to you. It is, but I don't need it anymore. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to be. Remember at the start, the, the old dude, the, the um, person at the cemetery, the caretaker or whatever, said, I have a thing that I'm supposed to give to you. Yeah, because he had it. <laughs> That's how they got the notebook in the first place. J just think of it like a keepsake. Or something. A treasured keepsake. And don't ever lose it. Oh, I gotcha. There are a ton of memories attached to this thing. And I won't forget any of them as long as I have this. This keepsake. <laughs> hey.
Hey, isn't that Minato's Seven Mysteries notebook? Yeah, he gave it to me. Why? Don't you want it anymore? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, you know, everything in there was nothing but urban legends. Heh, <laughs> yeah, nothing in there was even close to real. That's... True, I guess. Ha, <laughs> you're right. I'm glad none of it was real. Look at how late it is. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. I would be fine. We're kids, we're supposed to rebel. Tell that to my dad. <clears throat> Minato? I, um, I better head home. What? Home? Did you finally remember where you're from? Huh? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, actually, that's exactly it. So don't worry about me. Really? Really, really? Is your place far from here? Yeah, it's kind of out of the way. But we'll still see you tomorrow, right? No, I don't think so. But if not tomorrow, then definitely one day. Minato is every... Th I gotta go. Bye, guys. Hey, wait, Minato. Get home safe. See you later. And there will be a later. <sighs> this is the end of my story. What happens next is anyone's guess. And there goes me. <laughs> oh, but I do know one thing. I will see my family again. Someday. Mum, Mirai, Dad. Just you wait. Things might be tough for a while, but I'll manage. You'll see. I'll make it back to you. 33 years from now. Uh, I need an after credit scene. <laughs> I need an after credit scene. explosion or whatever. Ah, uh, earthquake. <clears throat> earthquake that knocked down the uh, storage shed, the gym storage shed. And originally it killed Ako and Katetsu. Um, but then the first run through, uh, we saved them. But they were still all four of them, all five of them were in the shed when it got knocked down. And the shed was made of asbestos because this is the 80s. So dad still died. Um, because he inhaled a shit ton of the stuff. Um, Kotetsu got sick uh, because we came back to the, the, the present time. Kotetsu was very sick and drunk, drunk as fuck. Um, so we presume alcoholic. Um, and then Ako and uh, mum met at the shrine and uh, mum is still sick because asbestos. Um, and Ako was, had like coughed or something, like was going to get there. 
<clears throat> and uh, a couple other things that we changed. The Shoa era didn't end. Um, <clears throat> and Mirai was in the hospital. Was was very sick and in the hospital. And so it gave us the option. Are you happy with this fate? Yes or no? So we put it to a poll. 11 people, 85% of the vote said no. So we went no. Um, and did this. And not only saved all of them, but got them out of the shed. So no more asbestos. It still would have collapsed, but no one would have died. Um, and then, yeah. I don't want to miss this. Oh, Shiba, I'm so sorry. What a story. Nato. Minato. Minato. <clears throat> Minato. Don't get left behind, Minato. Huh? W wait for me. Isn't... This is the start of the- <gasps> I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm fucked. Oh, shit. Hurry up, sleepyhead. Did you have another one of those weird dreams? Oh, I'm not crying. You're crying. Yes, I'm fucking crying. Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh? What's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Where are they? This way? No, fuck off, stream readers. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Did you post credit scene? Yeah. Do you think he'll find this page? He will. Someday. I'm sure of it. Hurry up and write. I'm losing my memories already. I'm starting to forget him too. Why is this happening? This is the fucking Magi. <clears throat> We should hold hands. It'll be easier that way. I I'm not sure you're reading the text box correctly. Pretty sure it doesn't say I'm fucked. <laughs> Kagami. A small town just like any other. There's a local legend here and it goes something like this. Get the book. <laughs> Are we sure about this, guys? What else are we gonna wish for? But they gave- he gave him the book. And then he's like filling in extra pages or something, surely. What else are we gonna wish for? Oh. On the night the star falls, the Magi will appear. An envoy from eternity's far shore. You really think it's true that no matter what we wish, it'll be granted? According to the secret legend, it will. Hand at the helm, the Magi arrives in a ship that sails the tides of time. The Magi is to be feared. The Magi is to be sheltered. We have to have faith, otherwise it won't work. Anymore at the end. Yeah. Bad time we can explain a raid fight. I better not have to do mechanics. Agreed. Agreed. Good luck, fairy. Oh, I can't breathe. Uh, uh. Show the boss the ending of a game. It'll be in capped. <laughs> Offer aid in time of need. And your heart's deepest wish shall be granted. <sighs> please, whatever god is listening, please. Please keep him safe. Please protect Minato. Please let him get back to his family. Safe and sound. Ah, oh, fuck. 
feels to have DR. <laughs> oh, you're fucking right. And they wished for him. They did. And it worked. <sighs> Mom, I'm thirsty. All right, all right. Honestly, you've been so spoiled since you got home from the hospital. You wait here while I go get her something to drink. You want anything, love? Oh no, I'm good. <clears throat> How nice is it that the four of us get to have this great day out together? What do you mean question mark, question mark, bullshit? You know who it is. That surgery was no joke, but Mirai handled it like handled it like a champ. Ah, not like her old chump of a dad, haha. His dad was a match. Dad was a fucking match. Ah. Ah. Fuck. I've been here twelve minutes. Never seen this game, and I'm bowling with you guys. What a story I must have missed last Wednesday. Last Wednesday, Squirrely. The whole VOD will still be there, and you can watch through chapters 1, tw well, one through 12. We played everything live on stream. Uh, and then today we've done 13 onward. Huh? <clears throat> Dad? Yeah? Dad, what is it? Dad, I... <sighs> What? What's wrong, Minato? Why are you crying? <laughs> oh, if only you knew. Uh, I mean, Minato doesn't even change clothes, surely you can tell. But it was 33 years, and they said they were losing his memories, losing their memories of him already. Yeah, check the button, not a problem. Shut up, game. You know why. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, oh, fuck. And Dab is a match, so Mirai will be fine. I don't know. Everyone forgets him. Exactly. Exactly. Dear Minato. Looks like none of us can remember anything about you. But that's how things go. You are the Magi, after all. We miss you. So we figured the least we could do is leave you this note. Even though none of us remember you at all. We really want you to come see us. Someday, somehow, we'll meet again, won't we? Even if you're the only one who remembers. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. So I have been solidly punched in the feels. Oh, good lord. 10 out of 10 doesn't feel like enough. The end. Oh, Jesus Christ. The end. <clears throat> Thank you for playing. A new story is now available from the title screen. I don't know I can I don't know if I can handle this. But look at that. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. Um, we're gonna- we're gonna do the thing. Um... Oh, fucking Jesus. <sighs> oh, yep. Thanks for playing this. I don't think I would have found it on my own. This is so worth it. I'm- I'm so pleased that I responded to that random fucking message in one of the partner discords. Like, good lord. Good lord. Uh, random question. Has anyone seen the latest Spider-Man movie? Yeah, probably. Not me. 
<clears throat> Respectfully request to join you all in going outside with towels and wiping your faces. I need a moment to get my shit back together. Yep, Stream Raiders. That's what that's for. Brilliant. Oh, I need a snack. Um, I'm gonna go get something to eat, because fuck, I need to... Yep, yeah, alright. Can we see if we got any skins? <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Oh, I got a piece of thank god, yeah. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go, I've used another chair stream. That's good. Um, it's our time. I'm gonna give you a drink and wipe my face. Back, welcome back. I feel like we've all been through an experience. Oh, we absolutely have. And there's bonus story. There's bonus story. Got a drinky poo, wonderful. Um, I have, I have Vegemite and bread. This bread is so fucking thick. I got it from the store and it's like they double sliced it. I don't know, it's weird, but it's delicious. It's so soft. No skin for fear. Did you guys get skins? Congratulations to Spam, Meaty, Neke, and Landa on your bonus shit. I fucking love when games make me feel. They did such a goddamn good job. <clears throat> such a good job. Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> Bonus story. That looks tasty. It's extra soft. It's really good. Whoa, this place is huge. What happened? If you accepted fate. Look, me too. Me too. Do we have to wait here? Mm-hmm. Right here. <clears throat> wait. This looks familiar. Something wrong, sweetie? Uh, nope. Everything's fine. We're a little early, though, aren't we? Yes, I suppose we do have a while yet. Mirai, where are you? What the? We're going to go ahead and pay our respects while we have the time. I think you and your sister can play here for a minute. Oh, well, um... No, Minato is so boring! Would you like to come with us then? <clears throat> Nuh-uh, Graves is scary. I thought as much, then stay here and play nice with your brother. Fine. We'll be right back. Look after her, Minato. <clears throat> Chapter 17. Mirai's Pendant. He's looked after her. <gasps> Guys! We're playing as Mirai! Don't go wandering off where I can't see you, Mirai. I won't, okay? Oh, you're so bossy. Wanna help me look for bugs? Ew, no! Bugs are gross. Fine, jeez, no need to cry about it. Do whatever you want. Oh, no. Where is it? Where is it? Where's what? My favorite pendant. Where did it go? What pendant? <clears throat> oh my god. No way. No way. Kotetsu, is that you? No, it's baby Kotetsu and baby Akko. How did you... Oh, crud. Run for it. What's with you? Hey, come back. Wait, just wait. It's got to be their kids, surely. Hey, where are you going? 
excuse me. Gets you married? Um, no, but they were dating um, in the the future that we decided to keep pushing for. They were together, but not married. <clears throat> you have to help me find my pendant. Minato. Help, we know what we're doing. This one, there was a path up there. Maybe not. One more timey wimey shit. Yeah, look. Maybe. We know what we're doing. Walks into fence. Yeah, look. Shush. <laughs> I'm good at games. <laughs> what are you looking for? Oh, um, my pendant. My mommy gave it to me. It's really important. And then I have to find Minato, I guess. I see. Perhaps this was foretold as well. <clears throat> Continue on your path. Daughter of Toki Watari. Uh-oh. Ominous. Huh? <laughs> Premonition time. Sky pretty. Huh? What was that weird voice? And where did you go, Minato? Oh, you're so you. He's not here. Maybe he went outside the shrine? I'll go look. The fact that the camera swung around when we went down there tells me that something's going to happen there. This bread is so tasty. I fucking love soft bread. Like super soft, squishy bread. Nothing fucking beats it. Mm-hmm. Nom, indeed. <laughs> this <is> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. too far I'll get lost. I better stay around here. Okay, same thing. <clears throat> to the cemetery then, I guess. Scared. I don't think Minato went this far, but Mummy and Daddy might still be at the grave. I should go check. Hmm. 
Um, excuse me. Yes, how may I be of service? Have you seen my mummy and daddy? Your parents? Hmm. They were coming to visit a grave, so they must have been here. I don't think so. We haven't had any visitors today. Which is funny. Yesterday we had so many, you'd have thought we'd putting a festival on. Ha! Alright, everyone's gone home now to spend their final moments with their loved ones. Sorry, what? Final moments? You should get on home too, young lady. I'm sure your family's wondering where you are. Oh, look at the time. I'd best be getting back myself. I have to make my final preparations. The missus and my mother-in-law will bite my head off if I show up not having bathed. I can hear her now. After all this time, we finally meet again and you couldn't bother to wash up, huh? Remember the first time we spoke to him, they were dead. Um. What a weird old guy. And why did he tell me to go home to mummy and daddy when I'm out here looking for them in the first place? concerns. <laughs> no, it's getting dark. What do I do? <laughs> he kept talking about final preparations, V. Like, everyone has gone home to, to, to spend their final moments with their families and shit. It's like there's something anticipating some kind of world-ending event. <clears throat> hmm? Comment. Whoa. What is that? They think it's going to hit or something, maybe. Bread was tasty now. I want more. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, something, something, comment gonna end the world. Oh, excuse me. Let's <clears throat> get Tetsu! Can I help you wear clothes for the day if you're hoping to take a bath? Um, I... where do I start? Oh, and that old priest you just walked in is probably the last customer we'll ever have. Life really throws you curveballs, huh? To think it'd end like this, haha. Aw, oh, crud. Why does everyone keep talking about the end? What's ending? Why was that guy the last customer? Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Haven't I seen you somewhere before, young lady? Um, no. By the sun well. Matter of fun, thank you so much for the resub. Three years, holy shit. My goodness, thank you so much for your ongoing support. Still alcoholic then, it would appear so. That or just drunk because it's the end of the world. Rise the new magi. Well, anyway, that big thing up there is part of who who's the Dharmas' big prophecy. Didn't think any of it was actually true, but I guess there really is a king of terror or whatever they call it. July 1999. Why'd it have to come now, huh? Was it? Were we supposed to be in the 2010s? What? What are you talking about, mister? And what does the shooting star up there have to do with it? Huh? You mean to tell me you don't know about Arahabaki's comet? Uh-huh. Are you kidding me? No, we didn't learn this in school. 
What's there to learn? You're an odd duck, young lady. I thought for sure everyone on the planet knew about the comet. Seeing how it's going to kill us all and everything. What? It's about to come crashing down to Earth and then boom. Of course, we're not sure exactly where it'll fall yet. Sure hope it hits right here though. Be quicker that way. Ah, oh, jeez. You really didn't know about any of this, did you? Well, I'm real sorry about that. Your mum and dad must have kept it from you. Didn't want to worry, I guess. Twenty twelve was supposed to be the thing. Uh, honestly, there are so many different interpretations of different prophecies and Bibles and books and whatsy hoovers and calendars and shit like that. That there's pretty much a like a date that the world is going to end every few months. Like honestly. Um, some of them get more media attention than others, like the the whole the 2012 the Mayan calendar thing. Um, but like there are there are hundreds of thousands of these little prophecy things. Uh, it just depends on who says it um, and what their basis for it is to you know determine how much publicity and and media attention it gets and how widespread the 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 um, like the idea of it goes. But yeah, there's literally every few months, there's another date that the world is supposed to end. Just don't hear about most of them. Er, uh, uh, gotcha, you didn't think I was serious about all that doom and gloom stuff, did you? I was just kidding around, just having a little fun. I got you good though, eh? Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha 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 ha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a dip now, clear my head. Never believe when we see it, until then, drink whiskey, pet kitties. <laughs> So I still can't leave this area. All right, that's that's fine. Now that we have that information, though, maybe the shrine will have changed. Alrighty, sleepy dude. Here we go again. I have told you twice that hello sexy is not an appropriate greeting and I have a mod comment here that says as much and that the next time you do it it's a ban. So goodbye. Um, right, nothing up here- oh wait. This person has changed. Uh, I just want to be pretty good on the last day on earth. Wouldn't it? It'd be nice, except they're not just saunas though, they're actual like bath bath things as well. It's just like the air is like a sauna, and then you're sitting in a bath at the same time. Um, give me just a second.
Right. Uh, so I missed on why we're playing as Mirai because the game decided to. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Alrighty. Here we go. Yes, little girl. Are you lost? I'm um looking for my brother. Have you seen him? Ah oh, shit. That's mum. We've gone back like ten years. That's mum. Well, what's he look like? He wears a red hat and uh well besides the hat he just looks like a normal kid. Okay, then I don't think I saw him, but What's his name? Minato. <gasps> Minato? Do you know him? No, no I don't, but something about it is tickling my memory. Hey, what? That's my pendant. You mean this thing? My mum gave it to, you picked it up for me? Thank you. Oh, you picked it up for me. Thank you. Wait, what? I thought I lost it somewhere. And mummy started to cry when I told her. Your mother gave this to you? Uh-huh. Do you like your mother? No, I love her. Oh, Mirai. Then here, you can have it, but you better not lose it this time. Thank you so much. You're so very welcome. See you later. Um, miss? Still here, are you? I hope your wish comes true. Oh, <laughs> that's very sweet of you. What's your name, anyhow? Mirai. Mirai, hmm, what a lovely name. Come over here so I can get a better look at you. I'm glad we got to meet before the end, Mirai. Be good. Before the what? Oh shoot. Okay, bye. Thanks for the pendant. Why do I feel so strange? Oh, there's a horrendous shirt, Watari. What the fuck are you wearing? Uh, are you sure about this? I know how important that pendant is to you. You saw all that, huh? It's fine. I wanted her to have it. I think she needs it more than me. Who is she? Her name's Mirai. You know her? Nope. Not even a little. I... Listen, will you pray with me? I want to say a little prayer for her. And for the future. Our future. Really? The future, but the co I know the comet's coming. And I know it doesn't make sense, but maybe if we pray hard enough. All I'm saying is that sometimes miracles happen. Please, for me. I can't explain why, but it feels like some sort of miracle that I met her tonight. Why is this so important to you? If if I knew I would have told you already, okay? It it just is. Quietly praying really hard. Okay. Let's go see what we can find. Um, call on a fashion comment. Hey, man.
can't go any further from here again, can I? No, okay. Maybe the cemetery again then. Oh, maybe out to the stage then. It's the only other place it could possibly be. I wonder if there are multiple chapters to this thing or if it's just the one. <clears throat> maybe I should make a wish too. Mummy always says shooting stars grant wishes. That's a big comment. Wow, it's so big. Is it really gonna fall right on us? Um. Please, big star, grant my wish. Please take me to meet Mummy and Daddy and Minato. Excuse me. Also, uh... Please grant that nice lady's wish to... <laughs> Wait. Who turned the lights on? Uh, was that just a bad dream? Oh no, am I starting to see things like Minato does? Ah, Minato, I have to find him. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go check over there. For your pendant? Yeah. Hope you find it. Me too. I'll be right back. Uh, is it a sunrise? It's not what I was thinking. Yeah, it's just the skybox. It was what it looked like before. Why'd she lose it if it's so important? I swear she's gonna be the most careless person I've ever met. Eh, so what? She can pound sand. Now what are we gonna do about this homework? The essay, you mean? My future plans? That essay? What a pain in the neck. What's with teachers anyway? Why do they need to know so much about our plans? Um, hello, Excelsior. No? Uh, that's our business. It's private. Wow, you actually make a, made a good point. I know, that doesn't happen often. Hey, it happens plenty. All I know is that I'm sure as heck not taking over this musty old shrine. It can rot for like a... Yeah, you've told us. She's always trying to inspire children. She's... I know, what, what are they thinking? Is it just me, or... Did we just have this conversation with somebody recently? Hi. What do you want, little girl? Have you, um, seen my brother? What's he look like? The only thing special about him is his red hat. A red hat, huh? Does he have a name? Minato. Minato. No, it doesn't ring a bell. We don't know a Minato. Do we? <laughs> Haven't I seen you somewhere before? No, I don't think so. Who are you? Hmm. No, I guess I confused you with another little girl. 
to the going around Twitch seeing how many people I can get to say it so far zero for three. Yep, basically because people think that you're going in as a very first time chatter trying to get them to say something that you can clip and report to get them banned. That's why. <laughs> or that they're going to end up on some random fetish site uh, when you clip it. We're not idiots. We try to protect our own asses. <laughs> Fear the Magi, indeed. The Magi is to be feared. The Magi is to also be sheltered. Alrighty, uh, let us pop this here and hit that big button. There we go. Reckon the Magi deserves hugs too? Look, probably. Probably. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that was massively out of- I keep forgetting that when I'm playing Switch I can't sing along because of the desync. I'm so sorry, that would have been terrible. We did a win! Congratulations Meaty, Naughty, Bod, Omena, Neke, Faden, and Squirly on all your bonus shit. place a paladin so I guess I'm gonna have to place uh, an archer to try to level that up a bit more. I might go turn in those quests while I'm here actually. <clears throat> uh, patch notes placing healers that's hilarious. Oh battle plans in five battles I can do that. Do anything. That's right. But hey. Group hugs like a bonus shit tonight is making me sad. Yeah, it's it's random. And when we've got so many people placing units and then we've got so many people in chat, obviously the chance drops, but then as we get to the more difficult maps, it will like instead of three people getting bonus shit, it'll become more and more and more. So yeah, just it's entirely and completely random. Um and if you've gotten a ton previously then other people, it's other people's turn. It's, it's, that's all it is. We do have a lot of people who participate, so. Yes. Oh, they draw in the last full event. She's just gonna get better. Indeed. Yep, it just cycles around. That's all it is. Uh, sorry, I don't think we've seen him. Oh, okay, thanks. <clears throat> Where did... What's the face go? Zomi. Oh, it's you again. Do you need something? Do you? What are you looking for? Oh, um, I think I dropped something. Something really important. Is it this? Wah. Oh my gosh, yes, that's it. That's my pendant. You found it? Um, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I'd lost it forever. Is it special? Very. It was a gift from my mum. Oh, I'm so glad. I would have gotten an earful if I'd gone home without it. 
And we've actually been getting along okay lately. You don't get along? Huh, we didn't used to, but it's okay now. Hey, Nozomi, did you find it? Yeah, this girl found it for me. Oh yeah, we were just talking to her. Well, good. I'm glad you found it. Me too. Pendant that travels through time. Let's go. Um, wait. Hmm? It'll be... It'll be bad if the shrine goes away. I think it should stay. Wait, were you spying on us earlier? There were people making wishes. I saw them. They were wishing really hard, so... I think it's good. Everyone should be able to come and make a wish here. They were making wishes, huh? You're not like the other kids, are you? Hang on a minute. Hmm? I feel like... We made a wish once. For something important. What were we wishing for? Uh, yeah. Thanks, strange little girl. I'll, uh... I'll think about the whole shrine thing. Did you still want us to help look for your brother? No, I'm okay. You sure? Alright then. See you around. See you Kind of like the shrine being a place for hopeful thoughts. Yeah, well, I mean, it's still, it, it, like, it's technically prayers, right? Well, the wishes she's talking about are actually prayers. But, like... I think it's okay. Like, it, it, like I don't, I don't pray. I'm not religious. I don't really believe in any entity out there overlooking us or anything like that. But prayer is a form of meditation. In, in its simplest form, prayer is a form of meditation. It's closing your eyes, blocking, like, like removing external stimuli, sitting still, and repeating a mantra. Or not repeating a mantra, just saying a mantra that happens to be a little bit longer or whatever. Like it's it's meditation. It's focusing, it's putting your energy towards a goal, it's, you know, giving words, giving energy, giving life to what it is that you want out of your life at the moment. And I don't think that that's in any way a bad thing. Unless you're praying for someone to get hurt. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> Member don't do that. Oh, I pray to Aaron Jesus. We do that regularly. <laughs> I haven't I haven't quite made it to sacrifices just yet, but I'm fucking on my way for some things, I tell you what. Sorry, nice lady. I gave away your pendant, but it didn't feel like my pendant. I think it was hers instead. So yay, I did a good thing. Premonition time. Oh, we've time shifted. Hmm? <clears throat> what was that shiny thing? Pretty. Jas is cooking with honey. I can smell the fire. <laughs> Slash burning. <clears throat> honey chicken? I reckon it's gonna be honey, soy, and sesame, yeah. Sesame oil. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're just here now, not towards the cemetery anymore. So we're gonna run into someone, maybe? Tetsu. Hmm, a sensitive iron honey presence, I can smell it. <laughs> smell it burning. Hey, can I help you? Dad! How long did you plan to keep me waiting, Kotaro? Jeez. Uh, sorry, the game was really good. Yeah, it was. You remind me so much of me, it's scary. Where are we going now? To see an old friend of mine. How many times do I have to tell you? You'd better say hello when we get there. Okay. Is mom coming? She'll meet us there.
The apartment is not on fire. I was right. Honey soy. <laughs> the honey burnt um, uh, as soon as, because uh, he was letting the, the pan heat up before he tossed the chicken in it and the chicken was sitting in the marinade, but he let the pan get too hot because he let it heat up for a little bit too long. And so as soon as the honey hit it, sugar, instant, he said as soon as he put it in, it was like smoke. And he was like, fuck, there was like nothing. As soon as that happened, there's nothing you can do you know what's gonna happen. And so when I got out there, he had the, the tea towel flapping it at the, sp uh, yeah, so I've opened the balcony doors and um, all that kind of stuff. Like everything's fine. It's just, <laughs> yes, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, uh, honey chimkin, yeah, sensitive. <laughs> I, I, did I not fucking tell you though? Did I not fucking tell you? She sensed the incoming doom, I always can. I can smell it before the smoke alarms can. Just stop burning things. Yeah, it's all right. It's it's an honest. It is a genuine mistake, and we've all done it. We've all tossed something uh, into a pan that's a little too hot, or we've um, like done a really great job on caramelizing the steaks and getting the grill marks and stuff, and it smoked too much because of the oil or whatever. Like, it's happened to all of us. Every single one of us has done it, um, and that's okay. It happens. Uh, I think this is the second time we've had honey burners since I've been watching stream. I'm certain they're both fine. A little smoky, but fine. There actually wasn't that much smoke at all this time. Usually by the time it goes off and I get out there, the whole lounge room and kitchen, like, the because we've got, a, like, an open plan duva wacky, the whole place is, like, you can see the smoke and it comes in here and it hurts my eyes and all this kind of stuff, but it was genuinely just, like, this instantaneous poof. So there was, like, this, this cloud of it that then kind of hit the roof and then that, but that was it. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, the, the balcony doors are open. Everything's fine. We'll be good. If I, if it goes off again, there is a button on it that you can use to turn it off. Like it's like snooze it for five minutes or something while the smoke clears. So I've moved the little step ladder over to it so that he can just step up there and, and instantly hit it. Um, so fingers crossed it won't happen again, but if it does, yep. You knew honey. It was so flammable. Not flammable. It's just the sugar and sugar caramelizes slash burns really fucking quickly. Really fucking quickly. Mm. Pure sugar. Yep, exactly. An attempt for not being on fire. Yes. Good recovery. We good too. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, shit. Anyway, story. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. I agree, Katara. Hey, watch it. You can't just go running off like that. I mean, you can. You probably just shouldn't. All right, so, oh, cool. So we're back in current time. <clears throat> Evidently, because Katara and uh, Katetsu's an, uh, an adult. Oh, look. I wonder what the daughter's name is. Hinata, I, I like that, that's gorgeous. Come on, Hinata, we're leaving. Okay. Are you really gonna wear that out and about? 
<laughs> sure am. I'm next in line to be in charge of Kagami Shrine after all. I love that she's so enthusiastic about it and her mum just does not give a shit. It's beautiful. Ah, <sighs> well if I ever doubted you were my daughter. Is dad coming? He'll meet up with us later. So fucking cute. So fucking cute. <clears throat> Mirai! Mommy! Where did you go? You can't just run off like that. I'm sorry. I just went looking for Minato. How could you just leave her like that? We told you to watch her. But, but... But nothing. We were about to go to the police. How careless could you be? She could have been anywhere. Bad brother. Ugh. Oh good, you found her. Is that- is this that Mirai we've heard so much about? Mum? Yes? Who's that boy? That's Minato. I told you about him yesterday, didn't I? Hey, Dad. Yes, Kotaro? He looked at me earlier and called me a different name. He started chasing after me, yelling, Kotetsu! Kotetsu! It was really scary. I don't like him. <laughs> Fair! What are you talking about? Come on, you must have heard him wrong. Shall we get going now that everyone's here? Yes, I'm starving and we have so much to catch up on. Woohoo! Yay! <clears throat> it's finally happening. We're all back together again. So why does it feel like someone's missing? Poor Minato, indeed. Someone's missing, but they're actually there with you, so it's fine. This is an emergency broadcast. The interstellar body known as Arabaki's Comet is approaching, sorry, Arahabaki's Comet is approaching Earth. It is traveling far faster than experts previously as It now appears likely collide with Earth, seek shelter, and for a miracle. So. Yeah. I, there's something I've wanted to ask you for a long time. I bet I know what it is. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes, of course I will. On one condition, and that is if, in the future, we have a baby boy, you'll let me name him. Because I already have a name in mind. You do, huh? Is there something wrong with that? No. No, that's fine. It's just... Just what? Well, I have a name in mind too. You do? Is it what I think it is? Only if you were thinking of the name. Minato. <clears throat> Top tier series. <laughs> I was just making the sound that the that the letters made. Like, it's fine, it's fine. These story writers are good. Oh, fucking earth, hey. Where did you go anyhow? When you ran off earlier today, I mean. I didn't go anywhere. I was just walking around here, right by the shrine. You were, huh? Okay, if you say so. Listen, Mirai, I have something for you. 
present? What is it? What is it? What did you get me, mummy? I don't know if you like it or not, but... I want you to have this. My mother gave it to me many years ago, and I think it's time I pass it on to you. <laughs> she went time traveling looking for a pendant that she didn't have yet. convincing Arco to keep the shrine open leads to her parents getting married, also wishing to stop the comment. Yep. Yep. This family is, um... <laughs> They're a little bit complicated. They have, a, they have an interesting timeline. <laughs> nice little code of the story. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's really pretty. Loops within loops. Within loops within loops. I, I would agree. Um, so, now we have a decision to make, because it's 8pm, so, either, I finish stream early, <laughs> ha. or, we go back and see if we can get all the collectibles, or, we switch to something different. I got the magic in their souls. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, does anyone have any thoughts or feelings? Oh, maybe I do a poll, actually. What does Strimmer want? Uh, I wouldn't be putting it to you if I wanted to do something in particular. Uh, if, if there is a decision like this to be made and I know what I want to do, then I will just do it. Uh, if I ask, it's because I genuinely want opinions. Um, the end poll. Could not end poll. Let's refresh the page, because obviously the page is fucked. Uh, I have too many feelings. Yeah. yeah. I feel hungry and a bit sleepy. If you eat to satisfy the hungry, you'll probably end up feeling a bit more sleepy afterwards. Ooh. Oh, yes, Jim. Good finger. Oh, hang on. Where's the camera? Because I don't think it's actually on camera. Put it up like this. Is the front. No, that's. Hang on, Jane. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're, tr you're trying, but like. There you go. Yeah, that's that's the that's the stitches. Well, they're not there anymore. Um, so he had like a, a flap of skin on there that was like dried blood and all this kind of stuff on it. It was like black uh, with all the dried blood, and it got caught on something, didn't it? Didn't you rip it off? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, so he doesn't have any more dead skin flap on his finger. Um, so that's... I have an angry bump. That's angry on the side there. Has that been bleeding? Nope. Mm, I don't like it. It's skin. That's not skin, that's lump. It's lump skin. How Can you bend it yet, or does it get stuck on the lump? Oh no, you go okay. Oh, good Does it hurt when you squish it all the way closed? Okay. It's like purpley coloured and shit. There's like it's it's all fresh skin. There's no there's no ridges or lines on it like on, on regular skin. Um so it's definitely still healing. He gonna have a fucking scar. It's that's gonna scar. 100 <clears> percent <throat> You're famished. <laughs> go eat if you're famished. Let's say, yep. That's, that's where he had the stitches from Christmas Day. Slowly recovering. Yep. No more did skin flap. Yep. See a doctor to pierce it. Why? I have Jessica's keelate scarring. It might be all lumpy bumpy. Why would, why would he need to be pierced? It's not, oh, it's not swollen. That It's not swelling. It's not hot. It's, it's not painful. It's none of that kind of stuff. That's just how it's healing. Um, it's because where, where the way that the flap was sitting, it kind of healed up to stick to the flap, and now that this, the flap is gone, it's just kind of sitting there as a lumpy bump. Um, 
Scar bless him, I hate scars. He has like a million and one scars. He's covered in scars. This is just another one to add to the collection. <laughs> like it really, it's just another one. And every one of them, behind them, behind each and every one of his scars is a story of fucking idiocy. <laughs> like every single one of them. He did something stupid and now he's got a scar. Fear them, I should say. Why? It's just healed tissue. A scar is just a, like a, a piece of tissue that, that didn't heal exactly perfectly. Uh, I have my scars. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pop up a poll. Um, <clears throat> new poll. My can open a broker. <laughs> yes. What do, question mark. Finish early. Kek. Collectibles. Play something different. There you go. Vote in the poll! <laughs> to be fair, scars shouldn't happen without doing something stupid. Not necessarily. Sometimes there, there's you get scars from like surgery that is to save your life, and it's not necessarily from something stupid. It's like, um, oh, sometimes it's genetic bullshit that results in you needing scars and stuff. Although you could probably argue that that's a result of the universe and your genes, your DNA doing something stupid. So I guess it counts, right? I got a few from Cows and Horses. So maybe what you're trying to say, Nurse, is that you fear getting scars because it hurts when you, when like cows and horses do things to you that result in scars. Maybe you're not scared of the scars themselves. You're just scared. Being scared of injury is a, uh, <laughs> that's a self-preservation thing. For sure. Yeah, surgery scars, exactly. Although, you know, some surgery is a result of being an idiot. <laughs> but not all. Definitely not all. <clears throat> Looks like collectibles is gonna take it out. Uh, no. Got a few here. I think this is the one. Oh no, that's an auto save. Okay, so that's right. No, I want to do this one. I think. And then we have. We solved! What? What? Oh, we hadn't solved it at this point. It's a few. The catalog! What do we have here? Three hidden coins left nearby. That doesn't represent the, the the coins is only coins though, not the actual collectibles as well. Wanna go to Main Street yet? So th this is what I mean by collectibles, is literally just walking up to shit and seeing what I can find. Gotta catch him. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. See, I may have created a shitload of smoke, but it's sticky. I also created delicious chickens. Thank. Ooh, this is getting light. Yes. Shut up. Delicious. Present to you the return of the damp. Return of the damp! No, I don't like it. Can we go back to the not damp? No. <laughs> yeah, wet. Chimkin! Yes. Ah, uh, 
Um. So the spirit of scholars, I can't spell words. Interesting. A phobia. Ah, uh, so the went too hard in the ring for yesterday. I've hurt my Achilles. Oh, Seeker, I'm so sorry. Plenty of surgery scars, none from subdued, none from my stupidity. Other scars, yep, stupidity or emotional regulation challenges. Note to self, gentle, gradual build up to exercise. Yes, just got 10 out of 11 people to say it. Except that when you were here last time, Excelsior, you said you were zero for three. So if you got 10 people to say it, wouldn't you be 10 for 13, not 10 for 11? The only one who didn't? Brilliant, then I'm special. I don't really care what other people are doing, honestly. <laughs> I do my own thing. Uh, fear of scar comes from the Yes, you said that. Uh, fear of yas. Perfectly sticky can be a challenge. Exactly. It is really difficult to get it perfectly sticky without, you know, smoke alarms. Oh, fuck, it's tasty too. Well, every time she stands next to Jazz. Fear is so small anyway. I don't shrink when I stand next to Jazz. <laughs> Yeah, he is tall and I am small. <laughs> oh shit, right, I can't go up there. <laughs> Duck over chicken. Butt crack is tasty. Um, I do too, but duck is fucking expensive. So, you know, I can't afford to have duck every night or like multiple times a week or anything like that. So, chicken it is. And chicken's still pretty fucking tasty. Um. Dishes. This one. Should cover the most people. So expensive, it is. But that's okay. Oh right, a whole bunch of these coins, a whole bunch of the um, collectibles come from the capsule machines, don't they? What about that? Yeah, it will be. This one missed it off all the fire alarms. <laughs>
Let's whip our bum. Grape tea with grape jelly. <laughs> My god, Jess, your sticky rating gains a multiplier based on how many you can set off. Get all your neighbors' ones going for maximum effect. I think this one might actually time out. Because I'm not sure we're going to get down to the bottom of the map to do this one. seems kind of glitched. Funny you should mention that. <laughs> so we'll about on Twitter. Didn't have any taste before COVID either. Oh dear. I'm gonna make it. Oh, look at that. Two seconds remaining and we managed to do it. That's amazing. That's amazing. Congratulations to Squirrely, Alex, Sika, Landa, Bot, and V on all your bonus shit. Loyalty boss chest. Here we go. <clears throat> I did set battle plans last time. It didn't count. Now it does, okay. Hmm, but okay. Right, so I've done a quick loop around here to see if I can find any more collectibles. I did find a couple, but, excuse me, we've got the capsule machine now. <laughs> capsule! Yay, murder. Good evening, Chad. <clears throat> um, not about finding that amusing. Why? That's fine. I think it's okay because it's not insulting a person for getting COVID, and it's not insulting a person like. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, there are people out there who have done absolutely everything correctly and they've still caught COVID. So I don't think insulting someone on the basis that they have had COVID is, is useful. And it's not insulting a person on the basis that they don't, that they're still experiencing long-term symptoms from the illness. They're insulting them based on their prior status. They're just using the context of them having lost their taste from COVID to like, do you know what I mean? Like, so I think, I think it's okay from my perspective. I think if someone had said like, oh my God, is is that what you decided to wear today? It looks like COVID didn't just take away, like it, it looks like COVID really did take away your sense of taste. Like, I feel like that's kind of borderline, not so great maybe as like a, as an insult or even as a, as a kind of a joking insult, but claiming that they never had taste prior, I think is kind of funny. I don't know. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, okay, spin the capsule machine. I wonder if it'll stop me if I don't have anything left to get from it. <clears throat> Oh my god, those things are amazing. Disgusting, but amazing. Mm. Every air roommate still hasn't got her smell back. It is definitely seeming like some of that shit is permanent. Like, proper permanent. 
I was reading a bunch of comments on Reddit today um, that someone was saying that they work as uh, like an emergency nurse and they've lost their sense of smell, but only specifically for bad smells. They can't smell dog poo, they can't smell BO, they can't smell urine, they can't smell cat piss, they can't smell like wet dog, they can't smell any of that kind of stuff, but they can smell good stuff. Like they can smell food cooking, but they can't smell poo. And honestly, as someone who whose mother was a nurse and has told her countless stories about the shit she's had to deal with, I think that's probably like, possibly a power up for a career nurse. <laughs> Um, yes, sign me up for that smell loss. Well, people were saying, like, wouldn't that be a bad thing, though? Like, if you stepped in dog shit and you couldn't smell that you'd stepped in it and then you traipse it all through all of the places that you go and everyone thinks you smell like dog shit, but it's because you stepped in it, but you don't know you've stepped in it because you can't smell it. And then what if you walk it through your house and your house always smells really bad, but your guests are too polite to say anything and all this kind of, like, so there, there is the potential for not great things, obviously. And, like, if you can't smell yourself, if you can't smell your own B.O., then maybe that's concerning. Like if you do a workout, you're like, no, nah, I should be fine to go. Mm. But not like, do you know what I mean? It could definitely result in some very awkward, uncomfortable situations. But <laughs> the benefits are pretty good. The benefits are pretty good. <clears throat> yes, spin the capsule machine. I am purchasing collectibles. This feels familiar. Gag gum. Oh, that's that kind of mousetrap type of stuff, isn't it? Mmm! Mm -hmm -hmm. Fantastic. The unfortunate part is, if I decide to get this on Steam as well, I'd have to do all the um, achievements again. gonna do a quick loop around for collectibles and stuff and then we'll go do the capsules. system protocol to transfer achievements cross-platform probably quite difficult because like the actual coding for everything is different you know like even the programming language may be different it's it's not a matter of transferring or creating a system protocol it'd be a, a matter of like completely recoding it from the ground up or something i'm not sh mm. i don't know I don't code, so I genuinely have no idea, but I imagine, I imagine it'd be quite difficult. Because I mean, importing a game is one thing, but uh, like porting a game, you know, taking a game that's for one console and recoding it to work on a different console. Obviously there's, there's some kind of procedure in place for that at the moment because this happens like a lot, like a lot, a lot. But um, in terms of, it's game progress kind of thing because I imagine what you would what you'd have to do is um, uh, so the Steam achievements type deal would be set to to read a save file and detect if certain checkpoints had been met, certain milestones had been met. So you'd have to somehow export the save game from the Switch one and and transfer that to PC. But I'm not sure how easy that would be. Um, who fucking knows? I certainly don't. Let's get some more collectibles.
I like ramen. M&M's are delicious. <laughs> That's really cool. Ramune tablets? That's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh no! I need more coins. <clears throat> Let's go in here. Oh, the Ramune tablets are candy. Here I am thinking about something that you would like drop in water and it would turn it into Ramune. <laughs> like, because I'm an idiot, you know? Yeah. That does sound really tasty, though. Fruity milk. Delicious. Google food it. I love that. Love that. I saw water upon being dropped into the plain water. I mean, have you ever had a fucking Barocca? That's exactly what Barocca does. Be careful of the body! Yeah, right. Oh my god. Fucking hilarious. Actually, given how old you are, you probably never had a Barocca. <laughs> What's a Barocca? It's, um, it's like a tablet. It almost looks like a, sh a compressed sherbet tablet. You drop it into a glass of water and it fizzes. Effervescences. No. It, it bubbles up. And like dissolves and you end up with like a glass of like lightly fizzy usually orange i think they've got like a black currant flavor and all this kind of shit but um the traditional one was like an orangey kind of flavor and it tastes kind of like shit but it's got a fuckload of like vitamins and minerals and stuff in it and i think some of the newer ones had some kind of slight energy type of deal to it as well um and a lot of people will have one like will drink one in the morning and it's like, it's almost kind of sort of similar to like a multivitamin type deal, but in a drink. Um, and I remember in uni a lot of people drinking them in the morning if they were hungover. The <laughs> Baraka gives you back your b -b -b bounce. Yep. 
That's the ads from the fucking 90s and early 2000s. Actual Remedy now. Also, ouch, right in the age. Yeah, Jas is, Jas is younger than I am. Mmm. Electrolyte drink? Mmm. Very orange. Enjoy your light, guys. Yeah, it was kind of, it was orange flavored, but it was like this weird chemically orange. Like it was not a pleasant flavor, not at least to me. Original electrolyte drink. I thought it had vitamins and stuff in it as well, but I'm like, I could be very wrong about that. I um, There was a, a point at one of my full-time jobs where I was not, like I did not feel well at all. Like I was always really, really just dead. Um, and so I grabbed a pack to try to see if I could like, you know, have and kept it in my desk at work and like have one in the morning each day at work sort of thing. Um, no, nah. I lasted all about two days and I tossed the rest of them because they just tasted like ass. Um, but yeah, like I've always been super lethargic and all that kind of shit. Probably because of this autoimmune thing that I had, but um, I never had any like other symptoms other than I feel like trash. Citronella! Yeah, mosquito coils. Fuck yes. Ah, Remini is delicious. Agreed. Agreed. Teaching Jass how to open it was fun too. Baroque is a brand of effervescent drink and vitamin tablets uh, containing B vitamins and vitamin C manufactured by Bayer. Baroque was originally established in Switzerland in 1969 by Roche and is available in a number of countries worldwide, including Australia. Oh, excuse me. You are correct. I was mistaken. I always assumed it was like parried. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I didn't think it was like parried. That's really interesting. I wonder... Look, marketing is super fucking effective on me. Maybe that's the reason why I knew what it was without really having much of it. I have, um, like, I, I, like, marketing works really well on me. Uh, <laughs> Jazz can probably attest, um, yeah, like, really, unfortunately well on me. Uh, I don't think I've ever had one. The idea of trying anything when hungover is horrid, yeah. Yeah. I love the collectibles Japanese childhood items in the 80s and 90s. Yes, correct. Correct. It's from Wiki, clearly. Of course. Of course. UFO summoning spell. That's adorable. Spirit photo. That's really funny. Super eraser man. Sure. I'm 
I'm kind of glad they didn't put any of the collectibles like on the graves because then it kind of feels like we're taking mementos from a gravesite and that feels wrong. <clears throat> okay, so um, we still there's a capsule thing at the candy shop. But on the way there, we've got Third Street, the school, the pool, and then the candy shop. So. Chrome. I'm really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. The uh, the two key lights that I received from Zarin, exceptionally grateful for those. Uh, and yeah, it's just I'm I'm so impressed with how much of an improvement it's made. I hope that Zarin feels like it was worth every penny to gift them to me. I hope. <laughs> I can only hope. Okay, so we seem to have everything from here. No. Apparently there's one hidden coin nearby. have everything from here. Oh no. <laughs> because I went around hunting for everything. Oh, right, gym storeroom. I should probably check in here too. Wait, what? It looks like it survived that last quake. Things are definitely different from last time I was here. It's not safe in there. It could still collapse if another earthquake hits. But there's collectibles. Someone's game cartridge. I like how it's not just game cartridge, it's someone's game cartridge. Somebody could go through these VODs and write an entire guide on where to find every collectible. That's kind of cool. I am not going to do that. <laughs> Worth dying for, must have ATT. Exactly, right? Exactly, Seeker. I'm so excited to have all of Fia's dungeons up to 70%. I'm so close as well. It's amazing. We might actually, this Sunday, we might be able to get the last of her categories up to 70% and then start working on, like, the 12 classes. How fucking cool is that? Sock and robot arm. Rocket punch. Good lord. Is it a 
finger trap? A used band-aid. Even worse. Good lord. How many music? I agree. Apparently, when I searched the kids we were on Google, just the kids we were, no platform or anything like that, it came up with a Spotify result. So I'm pretty sure this music is actually on Spotify. Rock'em Sock'em, fuck we're old. See, Rock'em Sock'em was before my time. I'm sorry to tell you. Um, I'm pretty sure that was like a late, like a mid to late 80s toy. Or maybe an early 90s toy. But I know that by the time I was old enough to be like allowed to play with one kind of thing, they weren't really a thing that was done anymore. Um. Hmm. So I'm sorry to to be that bitch, but uh, I'm on Steam tomorrow. Soundtrack two. Um, isn't that today? I thought it was the 12th of January. Because I remember checking last week and being like, oh, it's a week from today. I remember Rock'em Sock'em Robots? See, I remember them, but I've never used one. Do I have to tell you the same thing as I have to tell the squids when we go for a walk? Do not pick things up if you don't know what they are. What if they know what a snake is? Sorry. It's, I know it's malicious compliance, but hello, it's me you're talking to. It seems like my steam is broken. Oh, there we go. Um... Kids we were. Yeah, the, the soundtrack is on, on Steam as well. Oh, 13th of January. Okay, this game plans to unlock in approximately 13 hours. I feel like they pushed that back. Because I could have sworn it was the 12th last time I checked. Um, oh, it's 13, is, 13 hours is definitely tomorrow for me, Lander. 100%. They, I, they may have changed the, the launch time. They might have had a couple of hiccups or something, which is totally okay. That shit happens, you know? Um, but yeah, I could have sworn that it said 12th last time I checked. Um, my tomorrow. Oh, my tomorrow too. Mid 80s tour when I missed the David Hasselhoff conversation. I can't find a player on Spotify. Some songs called The Kids We Were, though. Uh-huh, okay. Because it said The Kids We Were, and it said Gagex, G-A-G-E-X, which is the producers of this. But, um, I don't know. That's that's interesting. Sorry about that. Um. <clears throat> Baseball chips. That sounds delicious and delightful. Last minute tweaks, probably? Yeah, possibly. Has made a friend, indeed. He's going for band aids and gr bits of rubbish, but they know what a band aid is, so they can take they can take that, can't they? Obviously joking. That's disgusting. Hmm. Oh. Apricot jelly sounds delicious. Cola rice cakes. Fruit stick? Mm, still sounds delicious. <clears throat> Aw. Pickled plums. Jam. <clears throat> I 
Meditation <clears throat> plastic model. Oh dear. I reckon I've got exactly as many coins as I need to drain the capsule machine. Hmm. Toasted eel strip. Remembers candy cigarettes. <laughs> and how they were renamed to fads in Australia. And that they, they stopped dipping the ends in red food dye. Nasty things tasted like chalk. I liked them. They tasted like, they just tasted like sugar. They were delicious. Fads, yes. They weren't always called fads. Because there is a, um, there's a nickname for cigarettes in Australia that is also a slur um, for people who are gay. Um, and that's what they used to be called. The slur, because they were candy cigarettes. And so, like, the nickname for the cigarettes being a slur, yep, and then... When people were like, that's not okay, they were like, ah, shit. So they changed it to fads. Um, they changed a letter. You know what they were called. Um, and and then, uh, a little while after that, they stopped dipping the ends in um, red food dye because they realised maybe it's bad to encourage children to imitate smoking with a stick of sugar. Mm. <laughs> Look. It, it is what it is. Turned into space sticks in New Zealand. Ah, there you go. And Big Boss. Oh, which were weird mustics. Yeah, they were kind of like, they were almost like a, a, a darker pink, kind of, and they were thick. Not not that thick, but like thicker and softer, not a lot crunchy. I don't, I don't, I didn't have them very often, but I do remember them. This stuff to move to have chocolate cigarettes. Oh, I remember those. There you go, look, zero coins and I've done everything from the caps. You've collected every last capsule from every last machine. You're amazing. Wait, you should head on over to the candy shop. You might just find a surprise waiting for- I'm at the candy shop. Then we'll do the battle. Big Boss Cigars, a bunch of Aussie goods have had name overhauls more recently too. Yeah. Because Australia is fucking casually racist. <laughs> you collected every last capsule in town. God, what are you, psychic? How did you know that? Come now, child. I've been the old candy shop lady for 50 odd years now. You develop a sense for these sort of things. How? Dum dum dum. And is she like eternally old or something? I can see it in your eyes. You have the look of one who's collected everything there is to find. Excuse me? I respect your drive, boy. I think you've earned a reward. Wait, really? You bet. Here, take it. No need to be shy now. No need to buy shy. Ah! Ramene! Ah, delicious. Ramene? Congratulations. Wait, completing your catalogue? Really? The original The Kids We Were, one of a kind Ramene flavour. Woohoo, I got a weird present. What about the collectibles from, like, the later chapters, though? Are there not any? Yeah, there are. Look, I'm missing a bunch of shit. I wonder if these ones can only be found in this. It was one, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if they can only be found in the earlier chapters. Oh, excuse me. So we'll save it there. And then we'll save the Neon Alley one. Uh... 
Uh. Ah. Uh, um, the title. Yes. Okay, and then we do this. Wafers are another thing people used to pretend smoking cigars. Is that ice cream still called that name? Or did they get changed? I don't know what that ice cream was. We named cheese and some red candy. Some half chewed eel jerky. Ice cream starts with golden. Golden gay time is not a that's not a slur. That none of that is a slur. Like. Uh, cheese is now called Cheer, the Red Lilies are now called Red Rippers, the Chocolate Flavor Gummy Babies are now called Cheekies. Yeah, no, Golden Gay Times are- the, none of that is offensive. <laughs> like, none of that is offensive. Were they considering changing? To Google! Oh, there was a petition. There's a there was a petition to call for streets to change the name of Golden Gay Time. Um, in New Zealand, it's known as a cookie crumble. Um, uh, the spokesperson from Streets a street spokesperson told 7 News there are currently no plans to change the name the origin of the gay time name was and remains related to having a joyous or happy time and is meant to capture the pleasure that comes with enjoying an ice cream the spokesperson said um, there's uh, the petition said uh, gay and gay time no longer mean what it used to now gay is either I'm gay and not as in happy or that's so gay, which is an insult, also, like, potentially, you know, borderline a slur. So, like, like yeah, no, it's just there's a, there was an individual who started a petition to rename it. It got nowhere. Because, no, it shouldn't have. Um, some Americans are getting offended over it. I'm pretty... They can, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> like, um, no, they're... That's, uh... Australian man. It wasn't an American people. It was it was an Australian guy, um, who uh, who tried to petition, started a petition on like change.org or whatever. Um, I think Ukraine's people say I don't understand why it's offensive. It's not. People are people are being like, yeah. The dream Marty years ago they did rainbow ones for fundraising. Yeah, like <laughs> it's fine. Good times in this economy, yeah? <laughs> Good time zones. Hello, Zam. Hello. Um, okay, so I'm not going to let that one through, truly, simply because the word that you're talking about is actually a slur. Um, and so if I allow it through, the bot will let other people say it. And, you, you know, it's, I'm sure you know that kind of stuff because you probably heard me say it a million bloody times. Uh, but Truly was talking about the cheese. I think it was stupid that they changed it to cheer, even though the name was the founder of who came up with the cheese. The problem is no one knows that. Like very few people, like if you do the research, sure. But when somebody doesn't know anything about a company name or anything about a brand or anything about a history or any of that kind of shit, and they're walking down the cheese aisle and they see a name of cheese that's a fucking slur, they're not going to buy it. It's as simple as that. It's not okay because people are going to be like, the fuck? And they're just not going to buy it. So it will harm the business, like business wise. None of these changes come from a desire for a company to want to do the right thing. None of them. 
it is sometimes it would be more beneficial for them to hold on to a name because it's recognizable, it's that brand recognition, right? And so they do that, even though it's hella problematic, until the pressure gets enough that people stop buying it because of the name. And that's when they change names because it's affecting the bottom line. Unfortunate, but that is what it is. Like businesses are only gonna change shit like that, especially when it comes with massive brand recognition. They're only gonna change it when it benefits them as a business, like from the bottom line, the, the money wise type deal. And often they will hella publicize it so that people know that it's a name change. So they'll go out of their way to buy it because they'll recognize the new brand name and be like, yes, I wanna reward this social activism by buying this thing because they changed the name because it was offensive when that's not what happened. They changed it because they weren't getting as many sales. Yeah. Um, so much political correctness involved in this shit, it's honestly stupid. Like, I get where the offense in it comes, but people need to also remember the name came from a different time with a dictionary definition applied. Yeah, but the dictionary definition has changed for a lot of things. Like slurs, for example. Yeah, so gay time is not a slur. That's why they stuck with the, like, like you know what I mean? It's They're sticking with that name because there are no slurs there. It's not offensive to the gay community. Like, whereas some of the candy names and things like that are actual fucking slurs. It's like coming out with a goddamn chocolate bar named N-word, actually, but the actual word. Like, no, I don't care if it had an association back in the, it doesn't fucking matter, it's a slur. <laughs> Don't use it for your product. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you mean there, nurse. Um, but yeah, that's that's why, like, yeah. It's it's not just about political correctness bullshit and all this kind of stuff. It's it's bottom line stuff. If they're not, if, if they're seeing a dip in sales because of social activism, then they're going to change your name. Uh, congrats to Lord, Zem, Vio, Spam, Squirly, Z, Neke, and Great Outdoors on all your bonus shit. Well done. If it was a social activism thing, they would have changed it the moment that anyone in the company said, hey, by the way, they don't, they hold on to it while it's still got brand recognition until the spotlight swings just a little bit too close to them. Oh look, we can get the tokens and the the, the skin chest again. Most, kind, most of those kind of name changes don't happen until there is some kind of outrage or until people realize like, what the fuck? Um, if, if it happens before then, it's because the, 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 the social activism spotlight hit a company very close to them and they kind of went, oh, we should get ahead of this before it happens and, and get that kind of good, uh, the karma for, for doing it earlier than we should have kind of thing, or then earlier than we needed to. Uh, right, okay. That has been done. Present Thrump. What? I don't- I'm sorry, nurse, I don't understand. Uh, Red Rippers is a new name of a certain snack. Uh, the change does the trick and you still know which snack you're getting. Exactly! Perfect! Ah, uh, welcome in, Lord! Congratulations on your bonus ships! Well done! Um, well, the same people that changed the cheese to cheer wanted to change the milk because it's called Smart White. Did they? I didn't hear about that part. Makes sense. Interesting though. That might have been a case, like if it's the same company, they might have thought, okay, while we're changing this because it's a slur, is there anything else that we should fix before they come for us? Before anyone can even slightly misinterpret any of this, should we change it so that we can avoid the shitstorm? I mean, <laughs> I'd wanna I'd wanna avoid any negative publicity at all whatsoever possible. You like Name for milk. No, I'm pretty sure they have. You know how you got like low fat, 
half and half, 2%, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. I think it was like another one of those kind of descriptors, maybe. I vaguely remember it. Wasn't it the, um... Wasn't that the... And only 2% fat kind of, you know that, you know that ad. Everyone knows that fucking ad, if you're in Australia. Um, was that the, was like smarter white milk? And it was supposed to be smarter because like, you know, it had, it was fortified with different bits and pieces and it was lower fat and blah, 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 blah. Dude, it, it is a. Uh, pretty sure it's an Aussie thing. Yeah, the ad when um the guy goes in is like, I just want milk that tastes like real milk, and she goes, you know, this one will do you. It's got da 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 da, and only two percent fat. As she looks at his as at his midsection, and he kind of goes, and then hands over his cash and takes the milk. Isn't that the? With an older woman behind the behind the thing and like your standard Aussie bloke or getting his milk. Is this like in Raft? I don't think I've ever played Raft. Right, okay, where we need to find the rest of the uh, the collectibles. Hmm. Smart white. I thought it was smarter white. Yeah, it's smarter white. Woolworths, Paul's smarter white white milk, two liter. But yeah, again, if it's the same company that renamed the cheese, then I would say that it's okay. We're making this change because it's a literal slur. Is there anything else in our entire range of products that could potentially be taken as offensive or insulting? Let's get some interns to let, let's get some woke interns to look through this all and see if there's anything that they can find that might potentially be a problem. But they clearly haven't changed the name of it. So if they were considering it and they announced they were considering changing it, then sure. But if it's just like a rumor, then I wouldn't pay it any mind. Standard Aussie bloke TM model. So many, uh, did they seriously just say that ads in the nineties? Not the cheese, Gromit, yes. I feel like with something like that, where it has a positive descriptor, whether it's the same company or not, that's going to an extreme. Potentially, but if you piss off the right people, those opinions spread like wildfire and your company can get completely and utterly fucked for it. You know, it's kind of... And it's, it's not, the thing is, it's not the fact that it's a positive descriptor. It's the fact that it's a positive descriptor applied to a group of people who are already the privileged ones. Does that make sense? Oh, for fuck's sake. But yeah, I, I genuinely believe, like, if it's- if there's even any truth to it, that it'd be one of those, um... Wait, hang on. Matchbook of dubious origins. Is my catalogue all empty? It is! God damn it. It said I couldn't come back and so I went and filled it. No, I don't like this. It doesn't carry over to the other side. It means I have to play through the fucking rest of it. Again, from that old, that previous save to actually get a completed catalog. That sucks. I don't like that at all. That's two. Because I noticed that my coins were, that, were back, so I was like, harm. Um. Yeah, but when you have- but then you have to make a choice as a human whether or not those right people are correct, or whether it's going overboard, and you can make a case to support why you wouldn't change it. Yes. Which, occasionally they have, like with Golden Gay Time. They're not going to change it, because it's not- it's not a slur. It's it's as simple as like it's it's not a slur, so they're not going to go in and 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 change that. But like, 
you can you can make an argument against literally anything. You can make an argument for white people to use the N-word, but you're gonna be fucking wrong. Like <laughs> it's as simple as that, you know? Like you can make an argument for literally anything, but a lot of people who make those arguments are bigoted. So that's not really a thing, you know what I mean? Like it's not really a You know? Hey a fight night, how you going? Hope you're having a lovely day. I see a trash can in there. Um, this day was really bad. And my mental health from now on. Good, I'm really glad to hear that. Not that your day was terrible, obviously, but that you're gonna focus on your mental health. Remember that there are tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of free, easily accessible resources out there if you need help. Like, as someone who has been, like, fighting the good fight, for uh, for over a decade, in fact, it's been like 15, 16 years now that I've been that I've had kind of struggles on and off with my mental health. Um, sometimes you need external help, and sometimes, like, and it's it's definitely not a weakness to seek external help. It's in fact a strength to be able to stand up, admit I cannot do this by myself. I need somebody to assist me, that it takes a lot of fucking guts to, to not even say it out loud, but to, to admit that to yourself. Um, so if you do need help, there are a shitload of resources that, that any of us can kind of help you find if you need them. Um, but good on you. That's a really good decision to have made. Well done. I'm proud of you. Right, um, if I try to get out of here, it's going to tell me that I can't go back here again. And all my fucking collections have gone anyway. I am kind of pissed at that. Oh, you're very welcome. Very welcome. What to do here? I think what I need to do uh, is go back without saving and then because there were no collectibles in Bruno's story, there was no catalogue. Um, so Jump in here. Fuck. And then we actually play through the rest of the storyline. I wonder if it'll let me skip scenes that I've already done before. I feel like that's not gonna be a thing. I don't want to have to go in there and reflect them all. This is only six left. I got two of them in that little back alley in the place. I fucking love bubble tea, hey? Of people got their bubble tea orders today. Mm. 15 second phone delay. Oh no! <clears throat> it's not letting me skip it, but I can press it really fast. 
so happy with my haircut. Holy fucking shit. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like after I've washed it. You know, when you get your hair cut and then you wash it and it's like, oh, okay, sure. Change <laughs> <clears throat> mm, the quality settings, it'll fix it up a bit. Ah, yeah, that will help, um, especially on phone. You might, if you, you might have to close the app to get rid of the buffer entirely because it'll never catch up again unless you refresh the page, but on phone you might have to close it and reopen it. Yeah. But as Josh said, changing the settings will prevent it from getting that, that big a buffer again. Just a lot, yeah. I know those feels. For some reason, if you get an ad before the stream, it doesn't load the stream to the current point. After the ad, it'll keep it to where it was pro- Oh! That is both good and not good. Well, Bible early was complete. Holy shit, Jack, well done. Well done. What is your gold deficit at so far today? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna overwrite that because I've got this is the one that I have my full with the AH on the future. Wait, on the A. Oh, because you've made sales as well. Gotcha, gotcha. So at least something it started doing in the last week must have been an update with the app. Yeah, you're right. That's weird. My ads have been weird for ages. Like they just come randomly, not when fear sets one off. Uh, they come every kind of 30 to 32 minutes. Not it's not random, it's like every half hour. Um, and that's part of the ad manager thing. Like, it says ad starting soon. <clears throat> there, it should have just started now. The ad, that is. And I'll mention again when it when the timer runs out. Okay, let's oop. One. Um, you don't get an ad starting message apathy, I do. On my dashboard. Via, via the ads manager. It's so that I'm supposed to be able to give you guys a warning, but I'll, often I'm too involved in the um in the game to, to notice. How about 20 minutes ago? Um, sometimes what I've been doing is setting one off like manually when I go and like refill my bottle or something when I go and do a chair stream um, I, I'll set one off um, manually and it's supposed to offset the next one but maybe it hasn't been offsetting it I have a sync with the manager yeah you shouldn't be though, because it should be the channel that you, you like. You shouldn't be syncing with the manager. You should just be watching the channel, and the channel should be synced with the ad manager. Yeah, no. I've gotten two collectibles, right? Oh, and then she won't let me do it in there. In the location with low mana ads, I'm gonna switch. Won't run an ad even if it's specifically requested. Yes, true. That's also true. So the ads just finished. On my on my thing jig, but having one 20 minutes ago, it should have been half an hour ago, like specifically 30 minutes ago, unless I went AFK and ran one manually. <clears throat> mm. It shouldn't reset ad time as Jack because it should be on, like, I'm playing it on my channel. It shouldn't be relying on you to get anything.
The whole idea of the ads manager is that I'm supposed to be able to run them so I can turn pre-rolls off, so you should not get ads unless it's during that time when I'm running them. That's the whole way that ad manager is supposed to work. With pre-rolls, um, Twitch tokens can refresh uh, and stuff like that. Like if you refresh the page and they don't have pre-rolls turned off, you get an ad when you refresh. But um, you shouldn't if I'm running ad manager at all, if you refresh, unless you happen to refresh when the ad manager is running an ad. <laughs> but that being said, this tool is only like three or four months old. So there might be some bugs. So if we can figure, if we can pinpoint that there's actually a bug happening, then we need to report that to Twitch. <laughs> because if they don't know, they can't fix it, as you all know. Oh, excuse me. So if Apathy tells me next time they get an ad, um, and I should be able to check the dashboard and see if there is run is one running at that moment. Um, we can cross check. Okay, so my subs are still getting ads from time to time. The tool being new. Um, no, that happened uh, after. That happened later. Those are two separate is issues. Two separate issues. If you are subbed to a channel and you are getting ads on that channel, step one: ask the fucking streamer if they have ads turned on for subs. Because if you report it to Twitch and they've got ads turned on for subs, you're just wasting their time. So ask the streamer, do you have ads turned off for subscribers? And if they say yes, they are turned off, you're not supposed to be getting ads, and you are still getting them, then you report to Twitch. But yeah, they, they are two separate things that happened that started happening at very different times. <clears throat> Thank you, Apathy, that'd be awesome. But yeah, as, as Jack said though, you might just not be getting them because like there isn't any um, for, for us. I know there are like ridiculously few ads for Australians. Um, at the moment, they've only got like five or six different ads that, they, that they'll actually run for Aussies, which is really annoying. Um, but it is what it is. another before stream end well um there will be another ad manager playing before stream end keep getting backers um but you might not get like yeah it's a really good ad to be honest is that you get loads and others also hey hey exo that's interesting because yeah i definitely run them every half hour every 30 minutes 90 seconds worth of ads to make sure that pre-rolls stay off because that's what's important i want pre-rolls to stay the fuck away um so it's interesting if you're not getting them, but you are getting them elsewhere. I guess I just don't want to be reminded of work. Sick of seeing the drink driving one. I know it's an important message, seeing it three, four times a day. Sometimes more is just like sight. Yeah. Which is why a lot of like advertising contracts will be, you know, we want to be seen this many times, but only this many times per day to this, to, to each IP address or something like that. Because after a while, like seeing an ad once or twice, maybe three or four, depending on the, how entertaining the ad is, seeing it a handful of times will implant it deeper in your mind kind of thing and you're more likely to recall it. But if you see it too many times, when you recall it, you'll only feel annoyance rather than desire to purchase. <laughs> I know I know, a drink driving ad is not a purchase ad, but it's still, you know what I mean? So that might be why you keep seeing that one so often because they haven't set an upper limit because they don't need people to get annoyed and not purchase. Like that doesn't apply to them. Or their message. Oh, also the V energy drink ad. <laughs> Keep an eye out, might just be zoning it out unknowingly. It's always been the same one for me on Twitch or potentially actually. Look, it's really interesting, hey, like it, it just Yeah, I, I really appreciate that you guys don't hate me for playing ads though. Like it's not about well, it is about the revenue, but it's not about the ad revenue. It's about the not losing viewers, which in turn results in revenue from potential subs, potential bits, potential donations, but also from potential affiliate purchases. And the higher my viewer numbers are, the more likely I am to get sponsorships and deals and do you know what I mean? So it's, um yeah, like running ads directly results in me being more likely to be able to go full time, you know? Excuse me, and I know I hate ads too. I hate ads too. But they're a, a must-have in society nowadays. 
You can't avoid them no matter where you go. There are ads literally everywhere. Some of them are just more subtle than others. But, like, yeah. At least, I feel like I'm running them for, um, for the right reasons. So, I mean, you know. And it's not like one every fucking two minutes, so... It's a source of income for streamers. It would be silly to get annoyed. Yeah, but people get annoyed because their their viewing is interrupted and shit. And I, I understand that. And being barraged with ads is is very annoying. Um, but like, I mean, traditional television, you'd have seventeen minutes of ads in a thirty minute block. I am grateful. Or Wasn't it? Oh, Linda, thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. I do I do understand being bombarded by advertising you feel. I get it. I hate it too. But like it's either we get pre-rolls. Like you you're gonna get ads anyway. You are going to get ads anyway. It's just a matter of are they more or less beneficial for me? I'd like to go with more. If I have to run them, I would prefer to run them on my terms. And be able to explain to you guys why I run them. And when exactly, you know, like... <laughs> uh, there was one a while back for a show on Prime Video, I think it was. For sure, had an interesting concept, kind of wanted to see. Because it kept seeing the ad for it, especially for stream Buffett and I refreshed the player, it made me not want to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the point where, like, um, advertisers should be kind of cluing in. To <laughs> should be cluing in to the fact that their ad is playing too frequently to the same person. Um, but... I don't know if, like, maybe they don't have that kind of high-tech sort of doohawacky. Maybe they can't do it at that sort of level. Ads are a fact of life. They are. That doesn't mean we have to like them. Um, but I would prefer to be able to run them on my own terms, which I do. And I appreciate that you guys understand that. There are going to be a few people who don't, and that's okay. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing it. seems to be going okay. We don't seem to be having too many issues with it. Uh, I think we're only missing two now. There's number 18 and number 37. Yeah, only missing two. Amazing. And there's nothing else in this alley, so let's uh, skedaddle. Mm, one or two every half an hour compared to normal TV. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> to be honest, I just mute the annoying ads. Yeah. Yeah, there are there are some uh, there are some different types of ads that Twitch have been talking about, and they've been experimenting with them on certain channels and stuff. And I think a lot of them would do really, really well. Uh, but you know, they're running their tests, and and if it works well for them, then they'll implement it. If it doesn't work well, then they won't, because in the end, they are a business. They're not a charity. They're not a not a generous benefactor. And, and what they do needs to make money. Otherwise, they will shut Twitch down. And, oh, fuck. And, uh, and then I won't be able to earn most of my, well, part of my income. Especially watching rugby on normal TV. Ad plays after a try is scored. Come back, see them convert the try, and then another ad gets played. Talk about milking it. It's because they get paid a fuckload of money because they know how many people are going to be watching. So they can jack up their, their you know... Instead of pay $10 to have your ad here, I know that's a bullshit number, it's not that number, but pay $10 to have your ad at this time of day. Pay $30 to have your ad during prime time in the evening. Pay $729 million to have it air during the fucking state of origin or whatever it is. You know, it's like they make so much, which is why I fucking Super Bowl ads. Because they literally pay millions upon millions upon millions of dollars to have their adjust to buy the ad slot and then they spend the money on actually making the ad and paying the celebrities and all that kind of shit like it's just but the thing is it converts to purchases if it didn't work they wouldn't spend it if it didn't work they wouldn't spend it humans are idiots house included Super Bowl ads are often quite funny because they need to be. They need to be memorable. 
they need to make a mark on the person watching them so that it converts into a sale. So that it converts someone who is a loyalist to one supermarket chain to switch supermarket chains, even if it means driving an extra 10 minutes to do their grocery shopping every however often they do it. Like, it has to be so fucking memorable and so fucking good that it convinces a large portion of the viewers to spend money with that company. So they hire phenomenal writers and big ass fucking celebrities and, and spend hundreds of thousands on production and then literal millions, plural, just to have it aired at a particular moment. Like, it's incredible. Think if all the money spent on, on one year's worth of Super Bowl commercials, all the millions on the advertising, on, on the actual slots, plus the money spent on creating the ads themselves. Can you imagine if all that money were used towards shit like, you know, social services? It's unbelievable. It was, it's incredible the kind of difference that money would make. Capitalism. It's beautiful, isn't it? Humans would rather create a 30 second funny clip than like feed thousands of people who can't get food themselves and shit. Like I'm not I'm not being a, a one of those people who's gonna get up on their high horse and say we shouldn't be doing this, blah blah blah. Like it's just it's the way the world is. That's capitalism. And it's not gonna change anytime soon. Because humans are individuals. Humans are individualistic creatures. As much as we have, and as much as some cultures value community and helping each other and all that kind of shit, most humans are individualistic creatures and value their own comfort and, uh, and therefore money uh, above others. And that's, that's just how people are. That's just how people are. Whenever I hear it's been super all time, I seek him out. A lot of people do. Ah, it was a Honda ad years ago with a little crab. I still see maybe a little pinch. <laughs> I think the value of the dollar would increase as well if it was being spent on the important things in the world as well. I agree. Like, not value as in it's going to going to something better, but market value. Potentially, yeah. Potentially, yeah. But yeah, it's look, it's it is really interesting. Um, I would love to have enough money to help people like really help people i don't mean being able to you know give a give a 20 to someone on the street or something like that i mean although that may or may not help it's not like i i wish i could i wish i had the kind of money where i could regularly donate to if not national funds and stuff like that even just local charities that help with with specific issues and stuff like that um and one day i hope that i will be that well off one day I hope that I will have that kind of money to, like, I would, fuck, I would love, love to run a charity stream or, or a series of charity. I would, what I, what I would fucking love to do is do the chopper drive with Len and Kraz. And then at the end of the chopper drive, when they're like, okay, we've raised five grand, be just like, okay, I'll match it. And just drop another five grand in the pot. I reckon it would be just, I mean, obviously the money going to be on blue would be great, but also to just like see the two of their reaction, well, not even see, just hear the two of their reactions. I'll watch them on stream as well. I just, I feel like that would just make, it would make my fucking year to see them just like fall off their chairs. You know, like it'd just, it'd be so cool to be able to do that kind of shit. One day, one day. one day. Wouldn't my ads so bad if they weren't so horrifically bad half the time? Yeah, look, they tr the ones that try to be funny or try to cash in on some like momentary trend, like if, if something's capitalizing on, for example, a TikTok trend, the problem is the marketing geniuses have jumped on TikTok seen this trend and gone, yes, we can make an ad out of that. And then they've gone to the drawing board and they've planned out this ad and then they've hired people and then they've filmed the thing and then they've edited it and then they've polished and all that kind of stuff. And by the time the ad is ready to be deployed to fucking Twitch and TV and all this kind of shit, 
The trend is like three months old and no one fucking gives a shit anymore. It's not a trend anymore. TikTok trends last approximately 12 seconds. Like you can't, no, unless, unless you notice a trend and get your marketing intern to set up their phone and do the dance in the office and then hold up a buy our shit sign and then post it, that is the only way you can capitalize on a fucking TikTok trend. You can't do it professionally like that. It doesn't work. Anyway, stream raiders. <laughs> Sorry, I've just, I've seen that shit so much, so very much, and it's kind of, in a way, hilarious and also really not, because it's just annoying. You are not ah. prepared. TK, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. <laughs> I'm not even doing TikTok. I wouldn't know if it's related. No, no, but I. I mean, I have a TikTok account, but I don't like. I haven't been doing trends and shit, which is probably. I should probably start doing that, honestly, to try to like grow my influence there because there's every chance that people will see that and then come across to, do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, no, neither do I. Um, I know there are always like dances and stuff that catch on as trends and shit, but whatever. Uh, Durr, Zem, Z, Whiskey, Spam, Pixel, Great, Landa, and Dunno, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. One more. One more. It's just me. Uh, here. And then how many? Four out of five. Okay, not too bad. Get in there. Get in there. Can we do a raid? Do an egg raid tonight? I'm just chill. Totally fair. Totally fair. It's been one of those days, hey? It's been one of those days. I've still got two collectibles left to find and I don't think I get any more actual wandering around time. Because this is the end of chapter 16. So I think I've actually missed two, like, properly. Capitalism is kind of reminding me of the Oracle from the Matrix movies, literally an AI that was created to study every nook and cranny of humans so that they could create the perfect Matrix world that the humans would accept despite not being aware of it. You're not wrong in some ways, Josh. That's, yeah, like, I mean, that is what, well, I mean, I would argue that marketing isn't every nook and cranny of humans, but it's certainly how the human mind works in relation to expenditure decisions, 100%. Marketers, like good, a good marketing employee will know how to capture, like, do you know what I mean? Like it's how to capture people's money how to convince somebody to spend their hard-earned dollars in this particular place, for sure. And there is definitely an art to that. I'm gonna run, no worries, Seeker, rest well. And I hope that the squids sleep very, very soon. I've missed two collectibles and I don't think I can... That's really upsetting. God damn it. Mashing the A button's not helping. Uh, <laughs> if I go the kids we were catalog. I don't think interesting about really but there's so much detail to understand oh absolutely 100% and like the whole thing is um you know someone tried something and it resulted in more sales and so they taught people that and then someone else tried another thing and it resulted in even more sales and so then people tried to combine the two and it, do you know what I mean like it just it's this art form that has evolved over decades of research and and 
you know, all this kind of shit. It's um, kind of incredible that there's an entire field of study dedicated to how do we make humans spend. Especially spend on shit they don't need. There's no, like, guide to where all the collectibles are. I can't... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a, um... guide for this. So I've missed two and I don't think I'm going to be able to get them. Unfortunately. Unless like, unless they're here somewhere. I have so many redemptions to do those, so maybe we do those. One of the things that makes you want to enjoy the simpler things when you've got a question whether you're being controlled or use it very loosely for back of the Yeah. There's a little science throughout the world to make decisions on what we want. It's just crazy, really. Well, yeah, it's like, yeah, it, very much so. It's not so much controlling as it is convincing. Like, how much are you being convinced by all the little things here and there? You know, you, you see somebody that you're attracted to walking down the street and then they pull out a water bottle and there's a brand on the side of it. And then does that, like, does your brain say, oh, I should get that brand? Like, the next time you go to grab a bottled water out of the 7-Eleven fridge, do you instinctively reach for that particular brand because you remember seeing that hot person drinking from, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, and that's not even an ad. That's baby just. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 Your brain somehow associating a specific brand of water bottle to an attractive person. And, it, you, you know, it's, it's. Brains are fucky. Brains are fucky. Baby. It's at the same time super cool and then also fucking scary. <laughs> uh, okay, hydrating. Oh, can I move? I can. Make choices even if we're only aware of it on a subconscious level. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe that was the whole thing with the Matrix was trying to, you know, explain marketing to us. I, I know it wasn't, but that's it's still hilarious. Uh, just another, just very quick shout out to Meaty and the anonymous person. Um, who purchased me my jeans. They both arrived today. I have a beautiful set of battery-powered string lights that are pink hearts on a string, and I'm absolutely going to be stringing them up somewhere visible um, for the lovers in the air, ridiculosity, every every day's heartbreaker runs. We're going to have some, some pink heart-shaped lights up to celebrate lovers in the air. Um, and I'm wearing jeans that are brand new that arrived today that do not have holes in them. Thanks to an anonymous donor who, who purchased them off my, uh, shit, off my, um, my throne wish list. So thankful. Like, actually wearing, actually wearing something that somebody gifted to me, which just makes me, makes my heart so happy. So thank you very much, guys. She'd be good off the road. I know. She was going to hit a car. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, right. Hydrates. I need her to do those. This one. This one. I'm going to die if I drink more water. I swear to God. Pasture check. Yeah. 
I was just trying to force a toilet break. Well, I mean, probably. Oh God, my back hurts. days even that there was a day that I didn't drink my water that I wasn't streaming um apparently there's a so I'm using a lip balm at the moment uh that I'm trying to use up uh like you know panning a lip balm let me show you uh where are you so it's called it's from Chapstick the brand is Chapstick um stream tonight play Ratchet and Clang 3 yay Loving the same challenge we're doing. That PSG classic. I'm so pleased to hear that, TK. And I'm glad to hear that you had a great stream. That's super good. Um, so, Chapstick. It's called True Shimmer Tropical. Healthy looking lips are noticeable with a subtle shine. Remember that word. Subtle shine. So. This is what the Chapstick looks like. See if I can... You can't really see much difference then, but if I, I wonder if you're going to be, oh, I'm very pale, so probably not, actually. I wonder if you can see. You can kind of see the line I've drawn on the back of my hand, although I'm very, like, okay. So basically, when I put this stuff on my lips, there is so much glitter, shimmer, stuff in this lip balm that my lips are white. It's like I'm wearing white lipstick because there's so much fucking shimmer in this shit. It smells awesome though. It kind of tastes like coconut too. Uh, <laughs> so I'm trying to use it up because like, I don't want to wear that without a mask on. Like I wear it at home and if I leave the house, I have my mask on. But like, I don't want to wear it if I'm going out to eat or something, because then as soon as I take it off, it's like, what the fuck are you wearing on your mouth? Yeah, so I'm trying to use it up. <laughs> um, so awesome to see you play different games. Can't wait to see more of you playing all these things. Look, I'm working my way through them. Working my way through them. Subtle like a hand grenade in a bowl of porridge. I have never heard that phrase before, and it's hilarious and great. Just got an ad now. Yep, there's an ad in progress. It's got a minute left on it, so I will tell Apathy when we get out of it. And ad, there you go. Only got the one. So it does still say ad in progress, 40 seconds to go. Um, so you guys got an ad when the ad manager started playing ads. So it, it seems like you're not getting them because there aren't any more to show you from your country. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely playing when it's supposed to, which is great news. That's awesome. It means it's not bugged. It's just not showing you ads because it doesn't have any to show you, which is, I mean, good for you. It still turns pre-roll off for me. Uh, it does mean that if a lot of people don't get them because there's no ads for them, I don't get the revenue. So I don't still get revenue even though you don't see an ad. Um, just like I don't get ad revenue from subscribers because they don't see ads, but it still turns the pre-roll off. And that's what matters. I'm glad your lips haven't been crusty lately, but that chapstick sounds no good. Yeah, it's not. It's trash. But I don't want to throw it out because it's not bad. It does a phenomenal job. Like, it's really, really moisturizing. It just looks like shit. So, <laughs> so it's really, really good, but it's just not not good to look at. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to use it up and I have... That much of it to go. It smells good, and now I've got glitter on my nose. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really, really good stuff. It just, um, it takes me one year, approximately. Um, maybe a little bit less than a year, but somewhere between 10 and 12 months to use up an entire chapstick of that size, four and a half grams, I think it is. 
Oh, this one's four grams. So yeah, that, that'll that take the whole thing, brand new, unse uh, like sealed, takes, um yeah, 10 to 12 months to use up. So I, I've played through that whole thing and I'm still missing two... Um, I'm still missing two collectibles. So there's nothing... Use it over lipstick, whatever. Potentially, but um, the issue with using a lip balm over a lipstick is that it usually kind of dissolves the lipstick a bit. Um, and then it kind of makes it messy. So if it's a lipstick that's designed to stay in the same place and not bleed, if you try to mix it with a creamy substance, it'll bleed easier. Um, it may also take some of it off and like mix it with the stuff and then it sticks to the, the chapstick rather than to my face. Um, it'll make it wear off easier, so if I'm eating food or something, the, the colour won't stay to my face. It'll probably come off because it's been mixed with something that doesn't stick around very easily, all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, I could definitely do that, yes. Um, and I can thank Falcon Lake One for that. Um, so is that already the same? Okay, glad you looked at me, Chris. Okay. Yay, and Zed can use a lipstick. What a subscriber charge after Twitch takes their cut, cover the revenue we'd get from ads in that time or not really. Um, that is such a difficult question to answer. Such a difficult question to answer. Um, it's, it's really tricky to calculate. Um, okay, where's my... Hmm. Okay, I see. So I might actually get ads where the, the player just kind of shrinks a bit and then you get one that kind of pops up from the bottom and then fades away and the player stretches out again, which is cool. I didn't know I got those, but apparently I do. I don't recall exactly what my revenue is for CCV. Um, maybe it's under here. Here we go, okay, um... Wait, what? Hang on. So I'm reading my partner agreement. Uh, <laughs> Payable to content provider for the display and broadcast of advertisements will vary depending upon the territory as set forth below, in which the end user viewing the advertisements accesses the Twitch websites or third party websites. During the term, share of net advertisement revenues to be paid to the content provider by Twitch will either be at a fixed CPM or rate or on delivered advertisement impressions or a percentage of net advertisement revenue as more fully set forth below. I don't know, so there's group A, B, and C territories. Um, but I don't, it doesn't have a list here of where all those t -t 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 territories are. Oh, here we go. Um, so A is Canada, UK, and US. B is Australia, Austria, Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Ireland, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and Switzerland. And group C is everyone else. Um, so there's a, what does CPM mean? advertising cost per thousand um, so it's a marketing term used to denote the price of 1,000 advertisement impressions so I get for, for A and B the, the countries I listed both A and B I get a set amount per thousand views right um, and how many 
So if I have 1,000 views multiplied by 30 minutes, no. Let's assume that you get three ads. If 30 second ads, let's assume you get three ads every 90 minute, every 90 second break. So divide that by three and then multiply it by 30 because you're getting it three of them every 30 minutes. That's 10,000 minutes to earn that amount. Um, divide that by 60 gives me that many hours. Divide it by six hours gives me that many streams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right. So to take, if I had a subscriber, if I had one subscriber from one of those countries listed here from start to finish of every stream, and they got three ads every half hour it would take them one and a half months of me streaming for them to earn me a thousand views. Does that make sense? So, you, so you'd get a thousand, if you were here six hours, four times a week with me, and you were getting three ads every half hour, it'd take you just over one and a half months of watching me to earn me those 1,000 views. Yep. And it'd take you just under a month and a half to earn me that same amount in sub revenue. So it's actually kind of close. However, if a sub doesn't attend every single stream, or if a sub doesn't get, like you guys are getting one ad instead of three, that kind of stuff, it'll take you longer to earn me that amount of ad revenue. So your sub will be more more valuable. Yeah, does that make sense? This is really interesting. I've never I've never done these. I fucking love math. Like I'm just just putting it out there. But I've never done these calculations before. Keeping in mind that's a tier one sub. Firstly, also this is my agreement. My revenue share for subs. My revenue share for ads. Not every streamer has those exact same agreements, which is why I'm not sharing actual figures for like dollars and things like that. Because um, most partner agreements and stuff like that are fairly the same across everyone, but they're not identical. There are small things that can change. I know that, uh, for example, like the revenue share on subscribers, at some point Twitch changed that for new affiliates. So because I was on, because I was one of the first, I was in the first batch of affiliates when they launched the program. Then a few years later, when I was talking to newer, or seeing newer affiliates posting on Twitter and stuff, and they were talking about their sub revenue share, their sub split, I'm like, what? <sighs> that's not my share. But that's because I'd already signed my agreement and they've signed their agreement years later and theirs is different to mine. So my my partner agreement may be different to partners who've been partnered for 10 years, different to five years, different to a year longer than me, different to someone who gets partnered today, different to someone who gets partnered a year from now. I don't know, but this is mine. So this is my rough kind of timeline for it to happen. So for mo because most of my, actually, I can tell you now what percentage of my subs comes from where. This is fun shit. So 41%, you know, in the last 30 days, 41% of my subs are from Australia. 41. Um, because of the limited number of ads that are available for Australians, they're probably not going to be getting three ads every half hour. So an Australian, I'm probably going to make more out of them if they subbed. However, making money out of them from ads doesn't cost them anything except their time. Whereas them subbing does cost them money. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, sticking around through ads is absolutely a way that you can actually financially support your favorite streamers, even if you individually can't afford to do so, which I, which is totally fine. Like totally fine. There are countless ways to support a favorite, like your favorite streamers 
without giving them money. But this is a way to watching ads and sticking around through the ad is a way to support them financially without you having to pay anything, which is fucking awesome. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. There you go. Thank you so much for asking that question, Josh. I'm so fucking in like, I'm fascinated by the answer that came out of that. That's super cool. I just didn't. So it ended up being 1.54 months to get X amount from, from ads from one person. Um, and then being 1.40 to get the, the same amount from subs. So it's slightly faster, not by much. Not by much, but then yeah, if if the sub if the sub doesn't show up every day, and the, you know what I mean, it's yeah, then the sub becomes more valuable, um, much faster as well. <sighs> Depends on the stream and how many ads they run. Yeah, so this is this is all based on my data. Yeah, brain turned off. It doesn't do math. Totally fair. Didn't think too much into that question before I asked it. To be honest, I did. I did all the thinking for you. <laughs> I hope that that in I hope that that answer was interesting to some people, though. Like genuinely, this is something like if I can talk about stuff openly, I absolutely will. However, I will also draw lines where I can't talk about things, as I did. I'm not going to tell you money. Like I'm not going to tell you dollars and cents. But I can tell you like general timeframes. Um, and and yeah, anything that I can share with you, I will. There were things I couldn't, so I didn't. Very easy, but I can still give you an answer. And even if you ask me something that I can't answer, I will I will just tell you. I'm sorry, I can't answer that. Yeah. 59% of your subs are from out of Australia. That is interesting. Right? Okay, so... 30 days. 41%. This is not viewer percentages. This is not total demographics. This is just subscribers. Just subscribers. 41% from Australia, 20% from the United States, 13% from the Netherlands, 6% from Bulgaria, 6% from the United Kingdom, 4% from Canada, 4% from Denmark, 2% from Germany, and 1% from the following countries. Greece, Finland, France, Switzerland, Turkey, New Zealand, Sweden, unknown country. Ayo Netherlands, right? Like, that is so unusual. I would have, honestly, I would have thought the UK had ranked higher, but I guess maybe it's a time zone thing as well. Maybe I'm, I'm, I stream at a good time for, for like people in the Netherlands to like, you know. Ah, that's why I just mute ads for I'm still there watching and supporting, but don't have to suffer. Absolutely. 100% EXO. I, and I definitely appreciate that. So theoretically, a tier one sub, granted they get the full amount of ads and attend every minute of your streams, could almost get you back the cut that Twitch takes. Yes, if I had ads turned on for subs, yes. But I don't. Because I'd rather retain the sub. Because <laughs> it means I retain the viewer as well. If they cancel their sub because I turn on sub ads, then chances I are they'll also someone. fuck off. Ah! Oh, Lando, thank you for the gifted sub to EXO. Much appreciated. Oh, wonderful. That's so kind of you. So generous. Um, you're in Netherlands, a Dutch love fee, apparently, yeah. Ah, oh, it's about wake up lunch time for Dutch folk. Also from the Netherlands, but non sub. Well, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Early morning for Netherlands, and we have a lockdown, so most work from home and can watch stream, of course. That's super awesome. Oh. I fucking love data. I fucking love data. I can also now, um, I get, uh, cancellation reasons, but before anyone kind of freaks out and has a heart attack, it's all depersonalized. What I get for that is, um, it went, if you, if you go to cancel yourself, um, it comes up with an optional thing that you don't have to, you don't have to select anything. You can just close out of it, but it says like, why did you, why, why are you unsubscribing? And it can be things like financial reasons or your schedule. You can't, you can't watch stream anymore because it, if your, your schedule has changed or my schedule has changed, um, all these kinds of things, there are a bunch of different reasons that you can select. If you choose to select that, which you don't have to, if you choose to select that, what I get on my end is a box with a whole bunch of percentage charts, like with my percentages for the different countries. And it says like financial reasons, X percent, viewer schedule, X percent, other 
X percent. It's all entirely depersonalized. I don't get breakdowns. I don't get comments. I don't get anything like that. I don't know who's canceled. Literally, I cannot tell who has canceled a sub at all. The only way for me to do that is to download it every month and fucking cross check. And ain't no fucking body got time for that. Well, I'm sure some people have time for that, but I'm not going to bother obsessing over that shit. Um, but yeah, so I, I get exceptionally depersonalized reasons as to why people have canceled their sub, which I find really interesting because like there is that like as a streamer, which I am, um, there is this thing of what the fuck did I do wrong? When you get the Twitch summary at the end of stream, you, you, you get like every, every time we stream, you can opt out of them, but I choose to get them because I find them interesting. I get an email and it says like your, your average viewers, how long you streamed for, how many new follows you got, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. And then it says like plus or minus from last stream. So when I see one that says like negative 37 viewers from last, excuse me, from last stream, I kind of go, why? <laughs> So when I see my subs drop, I kind of go, why? <laughs> um, so it's really useful information to be able to see that 75% of the cancellations that I got that answered the question were because of financial reasons. They just, they can't afford it at the moment. That tells me that I'm not doing anything wrong. It's not something that I've fucked up. It's not my fault. They just can't afford to. And that's 100% fine. Like, totally fine. Take care of yourself before you take care of Fia. But, like, it's kind of good to know that I. it's not because, like, I've changed something that's not working for that person any, or for that percentage of people anymore. If all of a sudden I had a massive thing that said, you know, don't like content anymore, then I'd be like, shit, I need to go back to what I was doing. But it, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. Uh, I'm going to retire. No worries, TK. Rest well. Have a lovely evening. Financial will probably be most common. It is. Currently, for the last 30 days, 75% of my cancelled subs that have given a reason was financial. 75%. And I get that. I get that. A couple of them were viewer schedule. Um, and then I think there was another as well. Um, Cross-checking that is paranoid shit. Anyway, it is, yeah. There are, there are some people who struggle with with brain stuff and I'm assuming that that would be like you know they they want to see I've I've heard apparently like, the, like look, this is just grapevine bullshit it might just be rumor mongering shit um but like you know people who have done that cross check thing and then they've gone out and like actually DM'd the people on on uh on what's it to, on Twitch to ask them why they unsubscribed and shit it's like fuck off <laughs> that's none of your business None of your business. Depersonalized information? Definitely my business. Because it's literally my business. This is this is my bit. I have an ABN. This is my business. So knowing why my customers aren't returning is helpful information. But I don't need to know individual person's fucking financial information. Fuck off. Do not need. Do not want. Um, I've, I've had tons of people message me over the years saying, I'm so sorry I had to cancel my sub. Uh, I just can't afford it this month. And I'm like, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Do not even stress. But like, yeah, no, it's uh, it's really helpful information to have though. Half of all varying sub numbers are also Twitch Prime falling off. Um, the vast majority of the time when I have a substantial like drop in numbers, usually I lose a fuckload in one day, like 20, 30, 50. There was one point that I lost like I think it was a hundred and something, two hundred, three hundred and something subs in one day. It just gone and i was like what the fuck happened oh and i realized a month ago it was a subathon it was all gifted subs they just didn't renew <laughs> that's you know that's totally you know half of them didn't want the sub in the first place i assume uh yeah minor subathon yeah <laughs> yeah exactly Ah, uh, for everyone who's their financial problems, hopefully they give it exactly, absolutely. It takes something like that to a personal level, just crosses the line for sure, 100%. Absolutely. Um, yeah, asking asking that kind of information in like a survey question to use depersonalized statistics to sort out whether you are doing something wrong as a business or whether it's just a natural downturn because of COVID and everyone not having jobs and do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's there's a big difference between those types of information. Uh, Neke spam, Draz, Dur, Zam and Zem. Zam and Zem. Zam and Zem. Congratulations on your bonus shit. Sorry, I really love that we have a Zam and a Zem. It's great.
makes me happy. <laughs> oh, a silver badge. And 100 golds! 100 golds. I love this music. It's beautiful. We're not doing another battle. Um, I'm probably going to go to bed, actually. Ah, uh, yes, I was on. Imagine fear deeming 8k people. Like, Why the fuck did you abandon me? You know, no, never. Uh, I know someone who lost 300 subs in a day because of that. Not good for anxiety. Well, we had one uh, one subathon where we got to like five, it was 450 something subs. 450 something subs. And um, I think like 12 of them were actually people resubbing. So like 450 subs gone in a day. 450 gone. Fuck. Yeah, it was. um. It gave me a kind of a, what? And then I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> whoops. Yep. <laughs> Subathons are fan-fucking-tastic for engagement and for like getting, uh, uh, like, depending obviously on how you run them and stuff. They can be great for an injection of cash when you need it. Like if you've got a surgery coming up and you're like, shit, I need money for this surgery, doing a subathon. And like, um, there are other people who have had, you know, um, planned medical expenses or un unplanned shit. And they're like, well, fuck, I I've just had, you know, my car's just broken down. I need it for work. I've just put all this money on my credit card. I really need to pay that off before I get completely slammed with interest. Subathon. Toss up a subathon. Give yourself a couple weeks to like prep it and hype it up and all that kind of stuff. Do a subathon and, and you know work some overtime on your stream. It can be incredibly lucrative if you do it the right way, but do not expect it to be ongoing. Like 95% of the subs that you get during a subathon will not be continued because it's ju it's just people from your community who who really love your content and really want you to succeed and all that kind of stuff and it, dropping bombs and it's amazing and incredibly generous and just oh, mind blowing like it's it's amazing it's amazing it is not a regular occurrence it is it is a one off fuck i need to fix something kind of hail mary kind of you know what i mean it's yeah very not a uh, yeah <laughs> Uh, personally live off disability allowance, try support streamers just by being here and watching ads. I love that EXO. That's, and it's incredibly good. It's a wonderful way to support people. A wonderful way to support people. Um, if, if you are someone who wants to support, whether or not you can financially, that's, you know, great if you can. Don't stress about it if you can't. Seriously, it's fine. But if you are looking for a way, uh, to, if you're looking for more ways to support your favorite streamers, you know what's coming. Social media. Follow them on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on TikTok. Fuck, some of them will even have LinkedIn and shit, but most of most people tend to like only do like professional connections on LinkedIn rather than having followers. Um, so yeah, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, follow them on all four. Excuse me, sorry, I burped. Um, uh, beyond that, actually engaging with their content, even just hitting like. On, on a on a piece of content like on a, on a post or whatever when it comes up is is super useful commenting is even better sharing it is even 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 better um just engaging with them across everything join their discord chat to people um uh, like interact with their communities and and help keep that community spirit alive across all of the different platforms because your support there if you share something or if you like enough of it or if you comment enough or whatever it'll eventually bleed through to other people in your circles feeds even if they don't follow the streamer directly it'll bleed over into them so they might pick up a new follower and if it gets you know far enough they might you might help them attract followers who can afford to support them financially or even if you get like a ton of people following you none of whom can support you financially that's still reach and you can use that to negotiate sponsorship deals, which is cashola. So all of these, like it's, and it's free. It's so easy and it's free. Um, so that's, yeah, that's my big kind of, and obviously showing up, being in their streams, chatting, engaging, all that kind of shit um, definitely helps. Uh, so any, any of your favorite streamers, um, that's the, that's the way to go. Uh, bonus ship, yes. Um, also time your subathons, as in like time it, as in pick the correct date, or like go for a certain amount of time. What do you mean? Uh, see you later Z, thank you so much for hanging out with us, and thank you for contributing to the Fiame. We'll see you next time. And stay healthy, you too. You too. Be safe.
Be safe. Uh, pick the correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, like give yourself give yourself enough time to spread the word and hype it up and, and get people going and all that kind of shit because like people will save their resub to drop it on that date and, and if they have a payday somewhere around there, like often if you often you'll actually find people who can, they if they can afford to, they will put aside cash to make you squeal by dropping sub bombs and stuff like like it's just it's amazing, but yeah, it's 100%. Yeah, if you are if you are a streamer of any kind, any size, um, there there are ways to to make your subathons more successful, and it's called eventizing. Um, but yeah, picking the right date, the right time for your audience, and all this kind of shit, it's all very important. Enough time between subathons if it's milked and it's not gonna work out. Oh fucking oath, yeah. If you're doing one every two weeks, people will get fucking bored, and it won't feel like a special occasion anymore. <laughs> like reserve them for special occasions. For sure. Like, um, we're probably gonna do something for my six year anniversary. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a subathon or not though. Um I'm thinking we might just do a marathon. And like forego the, the subathon thing. Um, because I know that uh money is tough for, for a lot of people at the moment. And um I don't know. I just Yeah. Anyway, here's the thing. Have a look at that for a second. I'm gonna see. Um, anything I haven't done, any of the redemptions I haven't done, I'm going to refund them because I cannot drink anymore. I'm going to explode. Um, like, I actually feel kind of nauseous. So, <laughs> oh yes. Um, Skinathon instead. Uh, Skinathons need to kind of be booked with, uh, with them. And I don't really... <sighs> my stream reader streams don't get anywhere near as many viewers as my WoW streams do. It's, it's pretty simple. And I, I enjoy WoW like a lot as well. So, I mean, celebrating is spending my sixth year anniversary celebrating something that has kind of got me to where I am in, in WoW. That feels more appropriate to me. Um, did I hear a shot marathon? Uh, 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 look, maybe. Um, well, look, I'm sure we'll figure something out. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think yeah, I think we might go here. Shit. Ah, uh, brilliant. Okay. There you go, point. Yeah, look, different different things definitely work uh, for different streamers. Like it's um, yeah, it's uh, and and each individual will eventually figure out what works best for them after trying a ton of different shit and noticing that some things stick a little bit better to the wall than others. But it's, ugh, what the fuck. Trying to figure out what works for your viewers is... God, it's, it's difficult. It's so difficult. Six year PvP. <sighs> uh, <laughs> anyway, all right, on Friday, we're gonna be leveling. We're gonna be doing our 50-50s. Um, I'm currently sitting on 10 level 49 tunes, but we have 47s we're going to work on. I'm hoping we'll get two more 50s, bringing us to 32, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. You might distract me too much. I know what you like. Um, on the 16th, we have our transmog hunt again. Um, I'm, uh, no, we're gone. We're starting in Noma. I don't want to, but we're going to. Um, but I'm this close to getting all dungeons and raids on fear to 70% or more. And then I'm going to switch to like... 12 classes, so we might actually get there on Sunday. I might actually be doing transport hunting on different classes on Sunday. How fucking exciting is that gonna be? Mount Farm, Monday on the 17th, uh, and then Chef Squad. This time next week, we are fucking playing Chef Squad. I need your help. Literally, I need to hire you lot as my chef. So please, 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 please. You don't need to install anything. It's all done via Twitch chat. It's gonna be fucked. It's going to be fucked, but we're going to do it. Um, so you don't need to install anything. All you need to do is be here and be able to type in chat. That's all you need. Um, so hopefully we'll have uh, the the kitchen. Look, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. Um, but until then, guys, uh, you're about to leave. Yes, locks. It's past 10 p.m. That's when I finish uh, on every day, every stream. Um, time to chop some meters. Possibly. Can't type, just broke all my fingers. Oh no! Oh no, Josh. 
Oh no, night locks. Here we go, we're gonna send the love over to Marie. Let us grab our Twitch raid copy paste. Grab your copy paste if you do not have the Fiyama Hype emote, either because you're not a subscriber or if you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally okay. You can still copy and paste the entire message into chat, delete the part where it says Fiyama Hype, and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then drop it into Murray's channel chat when we get there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had an absolute blast, even if your heartstrings were firmly grabbed and ripped from your chest. I really enjoyed this game. I, I Look, I took a risk on it, but it, I think it paid off. I think this was amazing and awesome, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, and I'll see you on Friday for level, 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 leveling. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you then. All the love. Bye, guys.